words water <laughs> god damn this episode is gonna be fire we're gonna we're gonna be so good that's why we we so good it's gonna be great look the only thing i've done over the last few days is play pal world how do you like it it's good it's what gamers wanted i think it's just not my type of it game it's but you play grounded game. so yeah it's a survival game at its yeah. core it's got Pokemon elements to it. It's got elements of like Legend of Zelda, Ark, you name it. So all games I have not played. Yes. Fake gamer. Which means I reckon you would get into it very quickly. Yeah. But I feel like, yeah, I survival like games. If you I feel like it, you binge it. Yeah. I'm like that with the most games. So if I get like past the like first little hurdle of it, I'm stuck there for a while. I've got like 60 hours in the stupid game. Anyway. <laughs> It's okay. I saw um, earlier. I have about three hundred hours just on Widowmaker. Holy shit! Yeah. No judgment here. No I'm judgment. judging. I'm judging. I started playing that game a year ago. I'm I'm judging. That is an hour a day. <laughs> um, Matt and I are um, a problem. You got this, but we're talking about a game like a game and game series that we are quite passionate about. We are. We are. Things are gonna happen, whether they're good or not. Uh, and some probably else. are going to be problematic and need to be edited out. <laughs> well, so many things. Smash or pass, I feel, is going to be that. Oh, yeah. We, that whole segment. The whole thing be should be fine. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll good be morning. Oh, okay. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. We are back with a new episode of DLC Required with the one and only MCM Designs returning. Hello. Hello, everyone. How we doing? How we, How we doing? doing? Jinx. That's fine. Um, We've That's been talking... Terrible. Yeah, it was. We've been talking for uh, a year to random out super massive. Yep. Longer, At we least. we are going to do a cosplay quarry stream um, to follow up our first coming, cosplay quarry swear. stream. Yeah, it's coming. We're doing it. We've promised people. Um, we have happen. new cosplays for it. It's a gore fest version. So Matt and I met. Um, if you don't know, uh, when I raided him over over a year ago while he was playing until dawn, and we just started talking a little bit like just kind of friendly how many times you've played the game and we both were like oh i don't know like 30 60 and we're like oh you double digits let's talk <laughs> some astronomical number that all of us are at so we realized many, unofficially nothing. or not we may be the biggest supermassive fans on the planet and i want to say that debate the supermassive people mostly to be like no i want to talk about it because please come talk to us about supermassive if we want to talk we yeah we want to chat with you any excuse we're to talk about these games to all of these we are it's a problem um, but it's good, and I'm happy with it. It's a I good problem too. to have. Like of all the all the like very niche games, I think to have a hyperfixation on, right. not a problem at all. That it's super massive. Exactly. I'm, if you, I'm so keen. If you've not played any of the super massive games, and I have no idea what the hell we're talking about. Um, if you've heard of Until Dawn, it was a PS4 exclusive. Uh, the Quarry came out recently as its spiritual successor on PC, Xbox, everywhere. Um, fantastic. And the Dark Pictures Anthology are the big ones they're known for. Uh, they are choice-based horror games. Uh, people can die pretty much at any time. There are hundreds of different endings to the game because of it. Um, they're very character-rich, very true horror, and a little bit of... What energy would you say? What energy would you say? There's like a very specific... Look, all of these have your very stems from 90 slasher flicks. Yeah, like it gives me it gives me those movie vibes. Whenever you play any of these games, um, until dawn, most notably, very much gives you those those vibes, those feels. Nostalgic, yeah, that's the word I want. Yeah, there yeah. You go. It's 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 nostalgic, I guess, for people specifically, you know, going into their thirties who potentially grew up yeah. with those ninety horror movies, Scream and Nightmare on Elm Street, which was, I mean, previous. To that, but, but that's the know. thing. That's Quarry has an eighties filter and stuff like these. The slasher movies yeah. that made slasher movies, like Wes Craven did his own, you know, absolute masterpiece arc of redefining the genre. But I feel like what he yep. did for film, which is the most pretentious, pretentious thing I'm going to say this whole podcast, but what he, he did yes. for film is what Supermassive does for horror games, and really what got me into almost gaming again. I feel like Until Dawn was one of those that like that's what made me get the PS4. Because I wanted to yeah. play it. I think that's the only reason I bought a PS4 as well. Is I heard about it until dawn. I was like, oh, I'm pretty keen. Like, you know, I like my horror stuff. Yeah, no, I and literally then I got a PS4. And I literally got a PS4 until dawn. And then when the Quarry was coming, I was like, well, I have to get a PS5 before the Quarry drops because I want to play that on PS5. <laughs> Even though it wasn't native, I, I was just like, yeah. I think I did the same thing. Funnily enough, we're we're trash a little bit. Look, I had to go buy another PlayStation 4 recently so I could play until dawn again. 
I love it. So, yeah, have you heard I'm, the rumors? I'm, look, I have heard the rumors. I another friend of mine, uh, another content creator out there, sent me a message, just screaming at me with this <laughs> with this little link to a Twitter post. So, oh man! But rumors, also movie. I, like yes, that's confirmed. Movie, the movie's so confirmed. Good. Like the movie is confirmed, and I know we're going to talk about this later. But there's there's some things with the movie that have to happen, or there will be a riot from all until dawn fans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. the just a little teaser of that is um, a certain slap, <laughs> a certain moment. I feel like has to happen. Um, Hundred percent. Yeah, uh, but we'll we'll absolutely get in the movie uh, to start. Yeah. Because we have too oh, man. many things we could talk about. I think maybe tier list. Tier mm. list of all the supermassive horror games. Yep. Not even necessarily. Let's just, go. Yeah. So, yeah, tier list. And we, are we doing. So, all supermassive games starting. I mean, we should leave Until Dawn till the end. I know we where mine sits. And I've, I've, I'm fairly certain I know where yours is going to sit. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> On said tier list. But, um, what first? What should. I, okay. Better question. What is your middle tier? What is like not too great, not too bad from Supermassive from their from their lot of games? I feel like it's it's unfair of me to say because I already have like a well this is why I think my my lowest on the list would be Ooh. Little Hope. Oh, okay. This is I think the only one we might differ on. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Little Hope is quite high up my tier list. It is. It would be higher if I'm if I'm incorporating like the director's cut and everything else like that. It is definitely, I think, number two of the Dark Pictures games for me. Yeah. Um, but the first time I played it, it was really jarring because it just wasn't. I think what I expected, like a lot of the traits being locked and the story just being really convoluted, it it makes so much more sense when you do have the second playthrough with the director's cut or anything like that, where you're going and getting the other point of view of certain points and get to put those pieces together, which I love that it has that replay value and yeah. it makes me want to do it. But I liked it way more when I made myself go back and play it again. Like I was fine with it, but I didn't fall in love with any specific character as quickly as I did with every other game. That's very fair. I, I do feel a similar way. I liked it just because... It was pretty different. It was, though, now that you mentioned it, like the, the locking of the traits. Yeah. The first playthrough is rough. Yeah, you don't you know what you're doing wrong. Yeah, if you haven't played this game, you're going to want at least two playthroughs, at the bare minimum. The first one, you're going to get the mechanics right, and you're going to learn the game. After that, you're actually going to understand the game. And you will and like so many of the characters better. so much more the second playthrough, yeah. because so you many know, can be so unlikable. Like, yeah, you'll work your way through. You'll know what, I guess, you'll know what the characters are in for. Yeah. And so you'll know which ones are assholes, I guess. Like, which yeah. ones, like like you said, Lion, which ones are very unlikable. And there are a number. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have little, I have little hope of a fair way up my tier list. Like, yeah, I I think it would be bottom of mine. It would be bottom of mine. I think I'd give it like a C. I'd probably give it a C. Like, it's not a bad yeah. game. It's not a bad game. I just, I don't know what I would have done differently for a first playthrough for it to That's fair. To make it what it is. Like, because again, after replaying it, it I do warm up to it, but. It think, gets better yeah. after a replay, but you do need a game to capture your, your attention on the first one. Yeah. And I guess if you wanted to play it through a second time, it kind of did that, but I guess you've just, you're playing, you're replaying it because you have more questions. Yeah, I just wanted to see like what catastrophically went wrong at that point, and then I realized yeah. there was just oh, there are scenes that didn't even exist in playthrough that I was doing at that point when you yep. get the curator cut, and it just I don't know. There's I I had so much expectations. I think was the problem for that one, like with the setting and everything else. Uh, okay. I really thought this was going to be my favorite one, and then I was just really confused uh, the entire time. That's fair. It is. It is one of the one of the more confusing ones. It has. It sits at A for me. Awesome. I would. I would put it in A. Not. No, was, we're just going to. Spoilers are going to be in this. We'll. We'll try to be careful. But spoilers are going to be in this. Oh yes. Big. Do we just need like the big spoiler thing? Plus, literally, just like this, a. Cause... <laughs> like just something. <laughs> There's so anything, many. Anything. Anything that ends with 
and it was all a dream kind of pisses me off. I hate that too. That that irked me the most. I still put it at A. That was my first a. ending. <laughs> like, I just... <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean this is like the the ending? What? I, yeah. So I, I say firmly C for me. Firmly C. Yeah, formally A. That's that's my that's my official official position for Little so Hope. generous. Uh, Man of Medan. I say B. It's B for me. It would be. I think it's Telepath's favorite of the Dark Pictures for me. Yep. I finished it the day like because we play it every day. Like it comes out that day we play it. I we finished it and I was like, I feel like we were really close to the end, but like maybe we didn't do something right. And we replayed it in the same sitting because it's so short. And I think because it was the first of the Dark Pictures, it was so jarring how short it was but well, yeah we we came from until dawn to yeah the dawn and you went from a five to six hour playthrough if you're doing it quickly yeah eight or nine if you're doing it properly um to two four hours. hours yeah like it was yeah, three we to four sped hours. through yeah. it and so the fact we like, got the save everyone ending the second playthrough immediately after i was a little like okay but i think atmosphere wise character wise actor like what like it just so many things about it set up my interest for the dark picture anthology and especially i just love the curator he is like my favorite curator case dr hill's that, ass yeah can we can we both agree that the curator has like the top spot yeah no he's I think he's at this point <laughs> in every every tier curator, i just then dr hill and then we'll talk about the rest of them yeah but curator just <laughs> he's so interesting and so it he just is. yeah oh the curator's uh, fantastic yeah a lot I, of this makes sense only uh, I didn't play Man of Medan. I haven't played Man of Medan post update, post okay. extra content. I haven't done that. I will be honest. I haven't had the time to sit down and do it. Fake fan. Boo. <laughs> boo. <laughs> yeah, boo. Man of Medan, however, is my least favorite. Really? Um, yeah, because of the length of it. That makes me It yeah. did set up my expectations for the Dark Pictures series. And yeah. when the next game dropped, I was a lot happier when I played through it. It was a lot longer. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, I'm actually a bit more keen for this. That is true. It was so, it, it was a lot. That was a plus for a little hope playing it where we were just like, okay, we're already already past Man of Madon. Yeah, so like that was I think more of me. I was like, oh, okay. This yeah. one, this game is so much longer. So I was it set me up to be like, I wonder what they're gonna do. Man of Madon was really mm -hmm. fun, but it was nowhere near as good as Until Dawn. I and agree like, with that. It was it was definitely its own thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's the dark pictures in a nutshell, right? Yeah, but that's just how they they dropped it. They were like, "Here you go. Uh, here is now our dark picture series. They're quite different in the way that they're played. You've got your bearing instead of the butterfly effect." And I mean, you got it's rid still of very don't move mechanic. I'm sorry. Let's let's address this real quick. The quick time events are so much easier in the dark pictures games than they were in Until Dawn. You have to struggle to fail them, in my opinion. You genuinely have to struggle to fail them. Like in Devil in Me, there were a few that I like failed that were like the very insane, the rapid fire kind of stuff where I just like wasn't in that brain space. But until dawn, I replay it and I'm still sweating. Like I will, oh, I will ending. force quit. I will <laughs> unplug my machine and see if it didn't save it to fix something because it just like doesn't. Oh my gosh. It's. I just played again. That too, but when you're really determined to get just in her underwear yes. and you just like barely miss a thing, you're like, nope, nope. You mess up the photo because you've slightly taken it wrong. Yeah, there's just like, like uh, one little thing it. where you didn't do something faster with the photo. It's usually the photo. It's like you didn't keep the up, photo. you didn't whatever. I'm like, okay. I still don't even know what you need to do for the photo. I just take, it's a very specific photo every single time that I try and take. I don't risk it anymore because I've looked it up and it doesn't make sense because I like will do it and then she'll be like, no, I'm like, what just happened? Well, you looked, okay, tell me, what is it? Literally, super massive. Please, we need to know. We need to know what it is. Because I'm Cause just like I just take it like after they like fall forward and she does like the giggle thing and then she stands back. Up I do it I like almost as soon as it happens. Like as soon as they get middle in frame, I like I I will as soon oh, as possible. You're quick. I because right. I I will sit there and be like one time I like was waited too long and I was like trying to like frame it or whatever and. Oh, you made a mistake. Yeah. And so I'm just like, it worked that one time. And so I really try to like when they like get there and he's like doing it looks oh. like it's going to be a bad photo, which is why I'm always hesitant. But then she likes it. But he's like doing this yeah. like weird look up thing like and it works. OK, yeah. Please tell us. We want to know the how. real answer. What is what is the answer? Because there's got to be one. 
Yeah. And we still don't know, and I've played 60-odd playthroughs of that game. That's 60-odd photos, and I still don't know what constitutes a good photo. I have 60-odd photo. photos from just restarting that segment <laughs> to try to get ah, to Every time. Anyway. <laughs> it's annoying. Uh, mad tangent. Oh, mad my God. Ditch. Yeah, anyway. I um... have... Yeah, Man, Man of Madame for me sits at a C, close D, but I'd push it up into C. Oh, that's so rude. Don't hate me. Don't, I don't hate me. It's just, it's D is it's just It's the me. length of the game for me. It's just the length of the game for me. I don't feel like there is enough character development. Like, it's just not enough time. Especially if you make some kind of big-ish mistakes early-ish yeah. on, and your character's just dead, and you're like, sick. Cool. Are you talking about the proposal? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, there's genuine mistakes you can make, and it just, it limits the amount of character growth you can actually get. That's fair, Which, yeah. again, going to be the same with, like, Little Hope, but all the rest of these games makes you want to replay them. You want to play them again, so you can try and get the different endings, you can try and get the different outcomes. Worth it. It's definitely worth it, and it drives me to want to play these games again. And I feel like another marathon is on the horizon. It is. Though it from is. start to finish, that would be rough. It, yeah, that is not, especially with the quarry now. It is beefy. You could do it in a day. When I say a day, I mean 24 hours. Yeah, I was like, not a <laughs> not a normal day. <laughs> like a full 24-hour stream of this would be fun, but oof. God, imagine doing like a all achievements run in a marathon. No, nah, quit. <laughs> quit. <laughs> You'd be live for three days. <laughs> quit. <laughs> Well, look, I did, don't use it in the podcast, but how would you feel about doing, like, if we could set this up, a 12 and 12, so I do 12 hours, you do 12 hours, we we'll just work out the good. games we want to play, we have to work out which ones we can fit into 12 hours, how many games yeah. are there? There are one, two, three, Seven? four, five, six. Six? Oh yeah, casting Frank Stone's not out yet. Yeah. Um, we could do that. We could. It's easier to split up anyway. that way. I think we should, I think we should, at least for like a, like, Movie release, like, okay. oh, some some 100%. kind of yeah, some like kind of event movie yeah. Release be like yo, just pass back <laughs> and forth. Well, even if we do like six hour shifts or something like that, where we just pass yeah. people back and forth, be like yeah, it's like guys, go back to lie, go back to lie, <laughs> <Yeah>. like <laughs> lines back on, go go go. We're continuing the series. That's a really <laughs> cool little collab idea. I'm down for that. That'd be fun. I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be fun. Okay, um, next up, House so of Ashes. Need... Oh, House of Ashes. I am in two minds of this. I'm in two minds about this. I've only played it through twice. I enjoyed it, but I feel like, for me personally, there was too many just, like, hard left turns. Okay, yeah. Where it went from, like, we're here. Oh, we're now under this place. Like, we're now in this alien-esque area down here. And there's a few too many things that just I haven't got my head around. I do need to play it through a number of times again. Yeah. To fully understand it. But... In two minds. Like, it's also a very good storyline, and there is incredibly good character development. Yeah. In my opinion, for House of Ashes. Where would you put it? B, sneaking into A. Okay. okay. It's, it's, it's a very good game. It like is. Like I said, two minds about it because I felt like there was too many hard left turns, but like I said, I've only played through it twice. Um, and so these I games just always fill it. out the moment you like, yeah. Yeah. Like, the first playthroughs always get the feel for the game, get the feel for the story and how the characters are. And then your second and third and repeated playthroughs just get better because you understand the characters better and better. And, yeah, so I, I reckon I'll sneak it into A. I reckon it fits up in A. Okay, okay. I'd probably put it in A, too. Um, I would think maybe maybe high B of the word, but I, my instinct was A. I just, like, yeah, okay, yeah, it goes in A. Because... When I first played it, it's the one I've played, I think, the least of all of them. But it was my yeah. favorite of all of them, the Dark Pictures. It was the first one of the three at that time that, other than the curator, I immediately kind of became attached to people and, like, started making Rude opinions on. To. The most boring, the fucking white bread boy protagonist. I don't know why. I was just, like, literally uh, immediately, I was like, leave him alone. I'm like, why do I care about yeah, this himbo? I, like, yeah. so, but the scene with, like, him and, like, Ashley Tisdale's girl with, like, having to cut her rope or not and, like, just her wanting to leave. Like, it was just immediately I was emotionally invested in whatever situation this was. And it did kind of hit hard in that respect. Like, yeah. You could get emotionally invested in these characters quite easily. Because you had a knee-jerk reaction to them. Yeah. It had it one of my start, least favorite characters. 
<laughs> ooh, ooh, please tell me this. This ought to be good. That motherfucker who thankfully dies early on, who is just like the most dude bro soldier, like. Oh, I hate. Who, never mind. I hate him. him. He was the, the worst. worst character of the game. I was rooting for his death. Like I was like, do we have to save him? Is this a part of like where he's gonna die, like right? A, Emily rooting for his death, or no? Like genuinely, like I was like, oh, the, he is, he is making the game worse. <laughs> like I do not. I need him out his of character, this. Not a fan. Every Get scene he here. was in, and like no hate to the actor, it was truly just his role in the thing where yeah. I like he would open his mouth, and I'm like, I actively need to shoot you, and this is not that type of game. He was one of those characters that you want to hate. And then one, like, I just, he had to be, that had to be an intentional thing. Had to be, like, you need someone grading in there to, like, sacrifice out to the thing. Like, I have no idea. But. I've done it before. (laughs) Yeah. We'll fight about that. But yeah. (laughs) Listen, leave Emily alone. No. I hate Emily. (laughs) No, we we will fight about Emily. We'll fight about Emily. Yes, we, oh, we will. All right, we will. All right. (laughs) I've cosplayed Emily. (laughs) Oh, no hate. No all, the hate, all, all the hate actor, no hate all the hate um no but with with house of ashes it i think also just has that really american like just themes regret like i don't even know the word for it but like the the iraq war war on terror 9 11 like all these little like comments they made throughout that were just very centered around like that time period and stuff did make such a level of realism for watching these soldiers like undo a lot of these like prejudice to come to this moment. Like I was rooting so hard for very specific people through the whole time, the whole game. And most of the the dark picture disc games who I'm rooting for kind of just cycles at the time. And That's fair. House of Ashes was like an unexpectedly weird. It felt like the least horror out of everyone because it was that like space sci-fi kind of horror it, like yeah like alien's a horror movie but it doesn't feel like a horror movie to me and so and granted neither did man of madon really but it was like that suspense but this you know did take that turn into the weird but when it picked up it picked up and i cared about the outcomes i wanted it was again one of those where i wanted to save everyone like i wanted to save people in a little hope and man of madon because it was like I want to save everyone. Like, that's just like, I want that check. I did it kind of thing. That's how I'm supposed to. Yeah. Run I mean, that's this. how I start every, every single one of these games. Oh, I try to every time, everybody? but yeah. Um, but house of Ashes was the first <laughs> one where I was like, game. yeah, no. And house of Ashes was the first one. I was like, get him out. <laughs> concerned dead, about what we put in. It, 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 it fits. Yeah. And it the ending, bad. the ending of house of ashes, I felt like was one of the most rewarding of the dark pictures. I agree with that. Yeah, that's that's. And very it was most fair. until dawn, like. Yes. Yeah, you you feel accomplished when you finish House of yeah. Ashes. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a, oh thank God that's over. You're just like yes, good, yeah. it's done. Like I've saved these people, or you know what I wanted to happen happened, or I want to play this again because I want to feel this again. And the character development, I feel like, is earned. Like it really does yes. feel like people like go through these changes, and you have to make these choices and they have the hard conversations that we don't necessarily get in video games. Like there's a lot of confrontation character wise oh, yeah. and belief wise in there that isn't spent time on in others. House of Ashes hits uh, some pretty, some pretty hefty, yeah. uh, hefty themes in it. And it yeah. does it well. There are games it does, that it's do not preaching terribly. at all. It's on preaching and it's yeah. not like a throwaway, but it's definitely like, let's address the racism. Let's address xenophobia. Like it very yeah. much goes into it. And, Which is good. We I like yeah. that. I like that from games when they do it well, and House of Ashes definitely does that. Yeah, uh, incredibly well for the way they've done their game. Yeah, so for I put it. Sure. I put it at a. Yeah, we yeah, agree. We do. I I definitely think House of Ashes is up there is one of the better ones. I do want to play it again. Like I said, only twice, Same. but I want to play it again. We haven't touched until dawn. We haven't touched the quarry. I feel we like obviously have... we're waiting on that, but we do have Devil in Me. <laughs> yeah, the Devil in Me. Now I've only officially played this once. I've, I've only, only played it twice. Played this once. Okay. To be fair, it has been out the least amount of time, and you do kind of have to block out a good chunk of time. It was longer than I thought it would be, and it was, yeah. yeah. Which is good. That was was my thoughts with House of Ashes the first time when I played it, because I usually am just like, let's go. Like, these games, these are one of the few games that I know I can jump onto a stream without knowing anything about the game and be able to play it. One of the very few games that I can do without having to worry, right? 
these games you just don't know their length. You'll yeah. start and be like, oh, I feel like this could be like four or five hours or well, whatever. You really can really fuck up and make it a very short oh, game. Yeah. The quarry, <laughs> so you can bad. miss entire sequences. Like, I'm still trying to work out. I know it's ignore this, but I'm trying to work out the speed run for the quarry. What sequences can you avoid? What can you skip? Yeah. Like, how? What is the fastest way to play until dawn? Murder ever. <laughs> harder than you think. It is. It, it's not though. I know because like Sam, like some everybody. people have to get to the end at a point. So then it's just like you do that. Then it's like this whole sequence, and it's like yeah, yeah. there are fixed so, points. All right, yeah. So uh, Devil in Me, like I said, only played through it once. Did enjoy it though. I did enjoy it. Uh, the start is still very fresh for me because I only played mm -hmm. through it recently. Yeah. Like, yeah, yours was you played it pretty recently. Yeah, a few months ago. Well, what feels like a few months ago. Could have been I'm sure it was months several ago. months now because time <laughs> makes no sense. But yeah, you, you played yeah, a... Almost at the yeah. end of January. I don't... Shut, um, shut the fuck up. No. I didn't say those words. You didn't hear these. No. I really enjoyed... I Yeah, I really enjoyed The Devil in Me. And I I mean, obviously, it made me very excited for the next season. Yeah. Because there's always the teaser at the end. But it was on... I mean, it was a pretty cool story because I... I mean, I love Supernatural, and I know there's a couple of episodes on the specific um, killer that is mentioned yeah. and talked about as part of uh, The Devil in Me. So I was like, this is actually kind of fun. Like, I, I enjoyed it for that really reason. I really liked it for it just being like a classic horror suspense kind of kind of vibe after everything. Like we kind of went back to the roots, right? Yeah, yeah. Like it kind of went back to where Until Dawn left us. And I was, I mean, I was more okay with that because Until Dawn's my baby. I love it. It's very good. It is very good. Oh, what would you rate it? <laughs> I I think it, I don't want to put anything in S at the moment. It's not Devil up there. I me? don't think it beats out. Huh? Devil in me? No, not S, not S. No, no that's not like I, really. I think it's like a B or an A. I'd probably push it into B. It wasn't my favorite. But again, I haven't played through it enough. I would put it A, but I would put it probably under House of Ashes. But I don't yeah. know. It, it depends on. It would have to depend on playthrough. I like the atmosphere better. I like the threat better, but it didn't feel the stakes weren't as high for me in this. Like it felt, I felt safe the most of the time, which was the thing that yeah, made me okay. almost bump it to B. However, I really liked the relationships between everyone, and the end scene was frustrating because it was <laughs> but it was one of the only like real fights in the game for me um yeah but i did the, notice that it was a whole lot slower i'm also i just have a fear much. of mannequins like i really mannequins freaked me out and so mannequins the worst Good that whole word. dinner scene was real creepy and i liked that granted i did play day one so it was before the the patch and so we had so many bugs when we were first playing it like the camera would get stuck and like teeth would be it, it was a <laughs> it was a moment but it was way better after the patch, obviously. Yeah, uh, teething issues, now it's better. Yeah, but it, like the prologue, I was really thrown off by. But then on the second play of it, because I was like, okay, this is fine. But like, what are we, what did I do wrong? What could we have here? Like, I'm assuming they both have to die here. But the second playthrough where I got to just play around a little bit, I got really, I realized, like, that kind of little just panicky thing about it where Ooh. i actually was like i'm gonna try to go down this hall and figure this out like where do i need to go and i i was so afraid of fucking up and i hadn't felt that in a while like in house of ashes it had been a lot of like okay if i cut her will i kill her or not like if i do something yeah, like that if she goes in the goo i think she, it's like a lot of calculated decisions it was very specific things that you made in house of ashes that yeah it was either a good or a bad outcome whereas in devil in me you don't know yeah, it's like when time. you're in the room with Kate and the you're wall kind of sure. thing. I had yeah. like we had the feeling about it. we paused and argued about it, but like that's... is something about to happen? Like, are we about to die? Are we about to fuck up? I don't. Yeah, like can know. we actually save it? Is this a trick? Is this yeah. what it is? And so there were there were just more. There were different types of stakes, but it didn't feel like a uh, we're about to be murdered. But like the little betrayals, like where like you heard the audio go back around and you had to figure out who you trusted. Those type of like character like turmoil stakes were helpful for me. Kate having her 
you know, thing with her ex and all this stuff. Like there were just enough little things in there that the lack of someone's about to hop out and kill me is going to like the lack of that in the same way. Yeah. Which I think there was plenty in there. If I go back and replay it, I'm probably like, I'm fucking full of shit. But like my memory of it's, it wasn't that I was on my edge like that. Like I was with until dawn. Yeah. I, I do want to say as part of this podcast, it's not, this is the, the dark pictures games aren't, as prevalent, I would say, for the both of us than yeah. Until Dawn and or the quarry. Yeah. Um, we know a lot more about the quarry and a lot more about Until Dawn. I, I don't know how many conversations Lion and I had specifically specifically about Until Until Dawn, which is why we're doing a super massive segment of the LC Required. I remember when the quarry came the, out and we would just like send uh, each other like little like what we found. It was so many things. And it was Constant. like, have you done this? And it was like, oh, oh, I haven't. I haven't seen this yet. We'd spoiler out our own Discord DMs. <laughs> <laughs> we try not to, like, give too much away. But it's like, hey, next time you do that, like, do this thing. Don't, well, like, uh, you don't didn't even one. get the ending. I did the first time. You didn't even get to that point. You didn't even nope. get past to pass a car. And so I was like, what yeah, do you no. mean you didn't get the, like. I, yep. I was- <laughs> My first ending was like real whack in comparison because we we did our first playthroughs almost like at the same time. Yeah. And it just turned into we needed to message each other about what happened on our first ending. Yeah. And then when we streamed it, because we did our first cosplay quarry stream last year in October. No, I think so. 2022. Maybe it was summer. I don't. It wasn't like it was 2022. It was 2022. It was a while ago. (laughs) We set up our things to be exactly the same. We set up movie mode and we changed our character design, uh, our character traits to answer and and do events the same way. Exactly the same. And our playthroughs were completely different. Yeah, it was wild. Which is wild. It was great. But, uh, what was your... Okay, let's go through, the, let's go through our um, games. Little Hope. Little Hope, C. Mine was A. Uh, Man of Madan. B. And I had C, because I don't like it. House of Ashes? A, but low A. A, but low A was the same for me. And Devil in Me was also A for me, but lower than House of Ashes. Yeah, yeah. I say it's probably about par for me, yeah, with where it is. Like, but... they're very, very similar. Yeah, I think in completely both. different ways, but yeah, I was just as yeah. satisfied with both of them. Yeah, like, I enjoyed them both, for sure. Yeah. Just... I just want a whole game of the curator talking to me. Please. Like, that's it. Just in a session. That's it. I would is pay full price for that game. Boss lion? Is yes, the curator yes, in yes, the Smash yes. of Boss? <laughs> he smashed me now. Spoiler. <laughs> it's the right, daddy two games issues. Left. God damn it. God damn it. I'm never running away from this. This is bad. I, we have two games left. The Quarry. The Quarry. I very much enjoyed this. I liked seeing uh, Officer Dewey in here. Like, that made me very happy when I first was looking at everything for uh, the quarry. And then finding out just how many endings there were for the game. And I think the biggest thing for me with the quarry um, is the decisions you make in Chapter 1 have a big impact. Unlike the other games, most of the decisions you make in Chapter 1 of the game aren't usually that big. It's a very minor story detail. I think like in Until Dawn, there's one thing you can do that alters the path of the game later on in Chapter 1. And that's if you, I think, shoot the squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only decision that makes any difference in the story later on in Until Dawn. But again, that was the first one, so I kind of get it. But I know because some people did this and they were like, oh, uh, rewind. do you want to rewind here? And it takes you back to Chapter 1 and they're like, oh, oops. Not like back to the start of the chapter you were playing. They did patch that. that they did patch that. Yeah. Um, or they warn you now. They warn you that it could be a significant, <laughs> significant. Like, are you sure you want to do this? You'll chapter go back ten, to to here. chapter one. You want to restart the whole <laughs> game? Like, oh. You want to be twenty minutes into the game? <laughs> yeah, twenty minutes versus you know four and a half to six hours later. Well, what's interesting for so, me is there are other things you can do to avoid that situation, but that one specific situation that you rewind, yep. it's like it's so it's so weird where it's like there's so many things that could avoid that moment. But it makes sense that that's the one it yanks you to, but... I I remember looking at a decision tree for Until Dawn, and it fit on, like, an A4 page. I looked at a decision tree for the quarry, and it was, like, a <laughs> ultra HD resolution picture. You'd have to zoom in to find exactly, you know, your decision and how many alternatives there were for each one. 
For me, the quarry is the best that they've put out that isn't Until Dawn. Until Dawn's the top of my list. It's no, that's never going to be a secret here. The 60-odd playthroughs and everything. But the quarry did very well. The storyline's good. Character development is really good. And I still have questions about the quarry. And I've played it a ton. I'm at like 30-odd playthroughs. And I still have questions. And I need to know answers. Same. Where would you put it, yeah. though? I don't think you said. My, it's, it's very high A, potentially sneaking into S, but I'd say very high A. You shook your head there. Are you mad at me? Uh, no. <laughs> this is just... Telepath would agree with you. Telepath is very much like Until Dawn is the ultimate. And I agree because it it's like it's the first like that that's you know what i mean like it paved the way for and there's games something of this genre there's something so like the relationships of everyone like the it truly feels like well, like you're talking about those like like a scream those just older say older now people are gonna be like oh, but if, fucking it's 20, if you 20, put like, the cast of scream into the quarry it would work well i think it'd be so bad well, I mean, we do have part of look, the cast of Scream in the quarry. You're not wrong, <laughs> but uh, sorry, um, the the sorry the cast of Scream into Until Dawn. It's the I think friendship. It would still work well. A story yeah. about the friends together, the fighting, that classic like even Cabin in the Woods, Texas Chainsaw, like however far we want to yeah. go, like that's the heart of so much. It's your group of friends doing something that they wanted to do and not having the best time. And the yeah. betrayal <laughs> in Until Dawn. That reveal, oh, absolutely, oh, like, man. even the bit of having to choose between Ashley and Josh, like... Ah, hate that. One Every of the most time. traumatic... That's the thing, I know what ah. it is, and I still hate the emotional implications of it. Like, it... It messes with you. It does, and it's so effective. Sam, fantastic final girl. Like, we fucking... We love Sam here. <laughs> like, that's what it is. And it's just... Mike is... All... all the individual bits of Until Dawn, like the humor's there. You have the stress of Wendigos are freaky. All of that. Oh, they're creepy. It is absolutely so S tier for me. However, the quarry edges it out. And I didn't think oh. anything could. Like, I expected to just, like, appreciate, like, like the quarry. I expected to just, like, it was going to hopefully meet expectations. And that's all I wanted, right? Because it's hard to follow something like Until Dawn. Yeah, and well, that I was love the thing because this was this was the second game by the same studio. So this was still made by Supermassive, yeah, but it wasn't part of your standard Dark Pictures anthology, and that's all we had for what five years? Yeah, it was like, like six Chunky years games. or something. And so this was straight up spiritual successor to Until Dawn. Is how they build it, and you know I'm a two K ho, so it just like it was like okay, well that well, what kind of game is? I, I thought it would be different. And I don't know why, like, there wasn't any reason to be like, this is going to feel like a different game now. But it just, since it was a departure from just the dark pictures, what we had, and then here's a PlayStation exclusive we're going on. Like, I just wanted to not be disappointed. I wanted to just go in and like it more than the dark pictures and yeah, have it feel like a worthy sequel to, not even sequel, but, you know, successor to Until Dawn. Yeah, and, well, a lot of people before it came out were like, this is Until Dawn 2, just with a different cast and a different storyline. Yeah. And that's how, like, a lot of people spoke about it. And, I mean, fair enough. Second game by the company. You know, second major game, anyway. The Quarry... One, it's the first time I've ever been freaked out by werewolves. I've never, in media... Valid. They creepy as hell in They're this creepy one. as hell. The deaths are horrifying. And not in, like, a Until Dawn, where, like, you see the skull cracking kind of way. Like, yes, that too. But, like emotionally devastating in the quarry every every time a character died in the quarry you were sad about it even emma who i was like i fucking hate you when she's like filming on her phone and if you open the trap door and let her die there oh. it is horrifying like it's, i just you still feel bad well having max swim back from the island absolutely ruins me that is the most devastating if you don't shoot silas at the end and then you get everyone killed if Fucking the betrayal with um so many the with the uh, with the cop yeah with the cop yeah. and Laura like oh that whole God. dynamic that when whole dynamic that, fucks the, me up. That's happened to me once, and that was the worst thing I've seen in the game. No, Sam, I, was I so did one intentional like, playthrough. Distraught. Or no, it was it was our it was our a uh, playthrough. It was the movie mode kind of thing where I was like, oh my God, no, he's it he killed her. That one, he oh. killed her. 
like literally in the house killed her it wasn't even like out there i was just like everyone oh, fucking God. died so we didn't even get to the car like everyone was dead and it just i've only seen the car once really <laughs> Out of my playthroughs <laughs> i've only seen the car once <laughs> jesus and I've done, I like, I think I've had, like, 30-odd playthroughs of The Quarry. No, because I... I've only seen The Car once. I mean, I love Laura. Like, there's no there's no secret, like, a cosplayer. She's she's my girl. Uh, you you definitely hate Laura, obviously. <laughs> you can't tell by your outfit at all. She's... <laughs> listen, listen. I couldn't find the cosplay. You're in your little little fuckboy shirt, so I had a, had a match. Uh, listen, yeah, I will bully Nick until I'm I die. I'm never living that down. I'm never living that down. <laughs> no. But I... The Quarry, I didn't expect to just be so crazy about it like i i expected to love it i expected to love it like i love all the other games but the reveal with with everything with the werewolf bite when you're in the prison and you hear that I argument just, with travis and, and i is, just like us talking about this right now is giving me the same feelings i had when i first played the game where we were discussing it and i was like it's got to be werewolves like it's for sure this and I just remember my community going, nah, 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 couldn't be, couldn't be. I was like, come on, guys. It, it has to be. But that's the thing. And we then knew. you find out about it and you're like, oh, yeah. The thing and, is, you know it's werewolves, you know this conversation, but I didn't expect it to be like he, Chris is the one who bit them. Like, oh, yeah, I, that's the stuff that threw me. And I found that out, like, I didn't know about this until my third or fourth playthrough. I didn't know really? that it was Chris. I didn't find. Oh, because you didn't the do the. That, yeah, there yeah, were so many the, the quick time. Find yeah. Throughout X, XYZ playthroughs, it just wasn't a thing that I found. And so I never knew that Chris was the initiator at that time. That is crazy was, to me. It, well, the fact that it was four playthroughs deep before I found out. How much did you fuck up early on, bruh? <laughs> a lot. Okay, shush. I'm like, because I'm just a look, fix. The the scene with Laura in the prison is just like her max there. Like it's the weird like thrown back timeline. So I'm like, I can't even imagine how quickly you had to like, yeah. So like there was there was a lot. There was a lot like and this I mean the quarry still surprises me today. And I want to do another playthrough again pretty soon. Same. But it still surprises me today that it's there's still so many things I still don't know. Well, that's the thing. I still feel like there's no answer for the questions I have. I feel like I have found. The... What are the questions the... that you have? I mean, I still don't trust um, Ryan. Not I just bad. still no, don't trust Ryan. I just, it's that one throwaway line that I really think is a throwaway line that's there to in intentionally throw me off course. To make you think. Which line is it? Do you remember? It's the one where he's talking to Chris in the office and he's like, uh, oh, are you here to am I getting fired when Brian's like, can I talk to you? And he like, Dave Arquette is like, Oh, you're here to fire me kind of thing. Cause it's like some weird thing like that. I'm just like, what is, does he know? Is this like a family thing? It, like there's just, yeah, there like, was a thing. Does Brian know? I'm just like, does he know? Or is it like, I don't trust him because like his family owns the land or there's some like, cause he was like the loner. Brian the fits into this somehow. It just that's the thing. And I think it was there just to be like, here's, here's something not to trust because he was just already kept to himself and whatever. But there was yeah. just just enough that like made me so paranoid. Where I was convinced every playthrough was going to find something, and then instead he would flirt with Laura. I'm like, she has Max. Leave her alone. <laughs> leave her alone. Not hers. Not yours. Not yours. She has a soft little himbo. Okay, he's a werewolf. <laughs> She's risking everything for him. <laughs> Literally, though. Yeah. Okay. That's and, that's yeah. fair. And it's the, it's that, it's the, you get the bitchiness of the Until Dawn friendships with people, um, which is fun, but you really get that sense where you have those little betrayals with each other in a way like you do with Josh yeah. and Until Dawn, but in a, in a completely different way. And the thing They're is, go ahead. Much more minor. They're much more minor. Yeah. Like the but betrayals that you have. Or like interpersonal, like they're not like I chose to yeah. saw someone else in half. You can't have like yeah. who you chose to save or like whatever. But it's yeah. the consequences are there because there's so many ways to die in the quarry. But me, who is always like, oh, look at Alice, look at Wheatley. Like I, you can't trust the person that's like here's the thing in a game. I still feel betrayed about Chris. And there's a cut scene that I've seen bits on YouTube where I like I don't think it's fully done. I people said it was in like the first like release and then they like patched it out i don't know if that's true but there's whole audio i've heard bits of where ryan confronts chris at the house in his werewolf form and 
Oh, what? No. Yeah. And I'm just like, there are so many little things like that. that I'm like, how much ended up being cut and how many more moments like that? Oh, because that's God. what I want. Like, it wrecks me because that made me suddenly not suspicious of Ryan. Because I'm like, he has this moment where he gets to go and be like, you knew oh. this. You this put information me, like, I didn't have before. Right. It's just so many layers deep. And even things like Abby... And the whole scene in the in the pool house kind of thing where it's just like, yeah, you can really unintentionally fuck that. Like, I swear to God, I shot him the first time and it. Nope. Like that. That's not like whatever happens there. Like, I don't really feel strongly about Abby anyway. And I think it's because I don't really care about Nick either. But like the little micro things that you can do in their dynamics that suddenly make. It, so much worse and so much more heightened are because her dying can fuck up a lot later if you didn't do the right things to save like Caitlyn and stuff. A hundred percent. It ends up becoming a major issue down the line mm-hmm. if you make the mistake, which is, I guess, what happened in your playthrough with our movie mode day. Because mm-hmm. Abby died really early on. Mm-hmm. And you were just like, mm-hmm. oops. <laughs> I don't even think I knew she could die that early. Like I was just like, okay. Neither like, did I. That when you messaged me saying, hey, she's dead, I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, and that's Al, the thing. I love finding excuse. new ways to die, which is why I'm so excited for a gore fest playthrough. But I'm also like, yes. I just I want to protect Jacob. He's a little fucking idiot himbo, and I so shot sad. him in the bushes once by accident. <laughs> I just was like, I'll take the shot. Oops. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm always so scared of doing that. I just I, I get it. so Don't paranoid. Do it. it breaks my heart when he's just crying alone in the forest. Like when he it escapes and he's trying to get out of there, but then also like if you let him die in the house because you can't do the puzzle and you just leave. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I've never done that puzzle correctly. <laughs> it's so much. It's to be so honest, stressful. I usually make enough issues early on that I don't get to the puzzle stage. And the game has gone too smart where it saves it too quickly, so I can't even do the, like, force quick yeah, game. you can't go back. You can't just alter for it your game. It's like, it's, like, literally constantly saving, and I don't understand, because if the game crashed, I had to, like, go back a couple dialogue, but, like, no, if it knows something is coming up, I swear to God, oh, they have so every many... two seconds. It's absurd, because until dawn, if you don't see those butterflies, you can catch it in time if you, like, alt four or, like, suddenly, like, force quit your yeah. game. You have enough time, but there's only... Yeah. I don't know how many exact decisions, but not as much. Weren't there, like, 200-odd the endings for the quarry? Like... 186. Absolutely fucking insane. 186 different endings. When... Until Dawn has, I think, like, 21. And here, the in credits of the quarry changing, too, yep. with the podcast. They change. Oh, the podcast at the end of that makes me happy. It was my favorite part when it's I first so played good. the game. I was raging I the first time I played through. Relax. There is a clip because it was so, it was 6 a.m. I'd been playing all night and oh I fucked up and killed everyone at the very last second. And it was just a nightmare. And then this... Just, it, it just kept going. It kept going and going and going. And I was like, please, I am mad. But it's fantastic and it's so well done and there's so much love put into it. I was like, I, I don't feel I, like Until Dawn differs that much. No, I... Because you have to get ending, to the final scene. You have to get to the final scene. That final scene doesn't change. The quarry, you don't have a final scene at some No, point. as we found out day one. <laughs> day one. Where I was I like, didn't did you things. shoot the wolf boy and go, I don't know what you're talking about. Or I think I, I said, said Silas. And you're like, no, what? Yeah, you were like, who? I was in the car. I'm like, what car crash are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Our whole playthrough just... Because, yeah, Lion, Lion obviously got to that stage. I didn't. But then I killed I everyone. I literally <laughs> tried to save everyone. I was so close to saving so uh, many people. And then everyone died. Except I think maybe one person lived. I think literally maybe. Maybe what's his Max? face lived. No, no. Did you, let, you made him swim back to shore, didn't you? No, I didn't. I didn't. No, I literally. No, I. <laughs> when we made him swim back to shore, it was the. So me and Telepath played at opening day. And yeah. I say opening day, like it's so fucking movie. We played it. We played a day yeah. one. Look, they they basically are a movie. They are. We played a day one, and then I was already wanting to replay it. And then we were in a different playthrough. But telepaths, roommates, like some of our best friends, are people we've cosplayed like until dawn with, and they're the people who every time a dark pictures games came out, we play it. However, we're all getting old and have jobs and like whatever. So it and I have the PS Five, I mean, and so yeah, and so. 
at one point they finally decided like okay it was pretty soon after it came out but they came over to my place and which it's hard to do with like the dogs and everything else like that so we normally don't but yeah. we're like okay we're gonna marathon the rest of this because i brought over my ps5 one day so we we're like halfway through it and so i had too many different playthroughs going i wasn't playing this playthrough because we were making them make all the decisions because we had played like all this you stuff. guys have done it before you know yeah. what's going on you know how it and works, i was right? yeah and i was trying to figure out like because this is only like a week or two after it came out kind of thing but i was like saying you're yeah. still trying to figure stuff out but i played it like three times at this point right and so i'm sitting right. there and i'm like okay we just need to make sure we save laura we need to save max and i'm like in my head like oh no 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 no, you don't want to do that like occasionally be like, like no want to do that that ain't gonna i'm like happen. cameron no <laughs> shut the fuck up you're not doing that you're not and so <laughs> telepath had uh messed up the she waited too long i think on the the ending with travis and like silas and so like absolutely was oh, like yeah. just screaming is happening all in the place oh, whatever it would have been it would have been chaos it would have been a thing but we get to the point of swimming the shore and i'm sitting here in a ball because they're like no let me swim back like he needs to go like wait for it like go swim back he can't be there alone and i'm like holding because i hadn't seen it i just read it when i was like going through like this whole like what and i was like oh my god no i didn't want to see it i was like good i know that now i'm not doing that i refuse to do that that is not no (laughs) not on my list of things well i also i love his actor and so i have a really soft spot for max i just i adore max like leaving him how the hell hell do you leave him at the beginning of the game i can't i can't it physically hurts me and so when they're so determined to have him swim back to shore and i'm just like i'm mad i'm sitting here trying not to spoil it but i'm just like i fucking hate you guys like this is this you is have the- to just sit there dead quiet and just i was like, so mad about it. i will never let him no, do it again nothing. i will never let him do it again it does not no does not exist you were not going to survive there are, there that long to have the curse rules. broken you have your curse fucking broken and then you're gonna swim to shore no Absolutely there are not. some cardinal rules in Until Dawn and the quarry. Yeah. <laughs> don't make Max swim back. No. No. I know. <laughs> Save like, don't the doggo. Move. That's the other one. Save Those are the, the two rules. Doggo. Save Cut off your doggo. hand. Save the doggo. <laughs> yep. Those are the rules. Don't. If you're listening to this, do the things that we've just said. Okay? Yep. You'll have a much better time. Yeah. We promise. And take the weird, scary doll. Take it. Take it. It's useful. You don't want it. You feel like it's going to come back and get you. You will forget you have it. You think it's a haunted object. 100%. Just, just you will forget about it. Grab it. it. It will never be a problem that you grabbed it. It will always be a problem that you didn't. The first time I grabbed it and pulled the cord, I went, oh, fuck no. I don't want to touch this. I did too. I was like, that thing's haunted. I'm like, that's going to like hurt. I literally was like, that's a totem. That's a totem. That's like, a that's, weird totem in this game. No, I'm not doing it. one of those things. That's going to be one of those things, literally, that I'm going to find during an intense scene where I have to be quiet and stay out of sight and it's actually it's gonna just talk gonna go in off. your bag or something yeah i was like no and then that's it i'm dead like it's over but then i was like maybe Caitlin. it's a thing we're gonna need in here like they're gonna be running through here and then they need like a distract like i was just like it's cursed or we're gonna need it here and i'm gonna be an <laughs> idiot and take it with me because i'm like oh it's cute and like i'm like no i hate it and i don't trust it it looks like a cursed yeah. doll they they awesome. knew what they were doing with that one they knew what they were doing with that one they did all right, so we never got your official uh, your official tier list spot for the quarry. I mean, it, it's S. It's over until dawn, but uh, until dawn is also S. It's just like a yeah. There, until dawn mine's, is just a perfect game. Mine's a high A for the quarry. Oh, fuck you! I'm sorry that was involuntary. Fuck you! Absolutely, let them share. How <sighs> they're both S tier. There's like literally, if I had to pick one or the other, hey. I couldn't really like. It's I, f- so I feel like I should join you in the S tier now that we've discussed it more, and I want to play it again. Like I am genuinely considering whether I just boot it up yeah. and play it tonight. I do have work tomorrow, so I don't do know. It, it might be a bad do idea. It. I still never played it on PC. I need to test it on my PC. Very fun. If you if your GPU can handle it, it is an <laughs> absolute. Like, if it does an absolute, game. make it ninety degrees and shut off your computer. <laughs> oh look, my I tested my GPU load on Ultra. It hits at ninety five percent. Just the Mostly opening, just the, the start the, sequence, yeah, yeah the, the title the, scene, the, yeah, the, the, the blacks in the background. Yeah. It just makes it chug something fierce. That's the thing. The opening scene of of the quarry way better than Until Dawn for me because Until Dawn I sets up agree. a lot. You have the twins it, it, again. It's it's the first of what it's doing. You're setting up everything. It you're you're getting the plot, and I appreciate that. The amount I did not trust Travis. 
Like I just like oh, screw the car. He is he is a creeping weird dude. All right. Well, you can miss so much. You can find out in that scene walking around. You can see Silas's collar. You can see like all this stuff. Like you can you can have the plot in front of you at that point. You can absolutely not. And there, that relationship matters so much in the game later that it's just it's a major thing and also the dialogue is fun it's very until dawn the fact that it's like cheesy little dialogue and it's perfect yeah it's the the off the cuff things that you would say and you could i i could see myself saying similar things or like australianisms or whatever you want yeah. to call them in the same scenarios the lesbians like, hey, my mate lost just max his car. we're lost yeah <laughs> yeah like just stuff like that it's gonna happen it yeah. feel it also feels very realistic too well, finding the rejection letter that comes up later. It's, like, such a... Uh, and those are things that, like, people I could see being, like, oh, well, they don't actually affect, like, what you can do later. But they really impact those character decisions and, like, that does. relationship later. Like what I said before, the the amount of things that change from if you the don't, start sequence in the quarry, if you, if you, don't, you don't save do him or things, if you don't try to save him and if you, like, read yeah. the letter, if you do both of those things, my God. The relationship between the characters is just... Mm-hmm. It vastly, vastly different. Well, even like Emma and Jacob and can have like a more human interaction and stuff like that. Yeah. You can kill I, him so early too. Why is he so early in that I water? Remember how I shot him? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going, he gets caught in the water when Emma's oh, just being a yeah. cut. <laughs> if you're not quick enough, he just drowns. If you fight too Excuse much, and me, I'm like, he's dead. Like, we're like three, four chapters in. What are we talking about here? character dead you're like all right sick, i've had I guess. five Not minutes sure with this man works. we see him dancing to pop pop being a bottle bottle pops and then him getting Does rejected get, like, and then he drowns yeah. <laughs> rejected real bad like excuse me first we see him walking banter. around trying to load a card everyone being a bitch to him and then we see him drown Ah oh, man, don't, don't know what's going on, man. Like, I don't know why it's not starting, even though he knows exactly why it's not starting. Pulled the fuel line. We love him. I feel like yes. crazy, crazy. Ah, oh, look. All Steal right. It. Until dawn. Yes. Yeah, there's no discussion here. There will be a discussion on Until Dawn later. The so best part of Until Dawn and the Dark Pictures anthology the O Death sequences. Oh, best bit forever will remain that way. I was a little sad they didn't have it in the quarry. I get why. I get why. I understand why. But I wanted it. I was still sad. No, same. (laughs) Same. I was like... And the music in the quarry is great, and then you have all the atmosphere uh, filters. There's so much in there. But, yeah, Odeth is every cover of it. so good. And I think that was the thing with Man of Madame when it was just like this like guitar and all this stuff. I was like, oh, my mind oh, was yeah. blown. Seeing the curator walk down the hall with this like swelling. I just, that ugh. hit me out of nowhere. It was, I was so I good. I was not prepared. I was not prepared. No. And also until Don has, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? And you scare the blue right out of my jeans. So I think two of the most iconic lines in yep. video game history yep. deserve some recognition. Uh, looky, looky, let's fire up some nookie. Come on, you can't, <laughs> so you can't deny that line. It's so bad. <laughs> it is a tr- they, Look, their whole walk up to the cabin, the, the sex cabin, it's so the whole the, sex cabin. the whole walk up there is just... <laughs> but, uh, okay, but then we get little, like, realisms from Mike, like, the how much I feel just, like, the energy of, no, I'm supposed to find a fucking key card. Like, it's just so... Or when he's getting to chop oh. off his hand, he's like, okay, oh shit, oh shit. Like, he's just, like, trying to, like, hype himself up for it. It's so good. Like, I got this. I, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> and then fucking yeah. Ashley, the hashtag, there's a freaking ghost after us. I'm like, this is the cringiest dialogue, and I love it. I would die it's, for it. It's very much reminiscent of what you would Cheesy find horror movie. Yeah. Cheesy horror movie. 80s, 90s, 90s, yeah. 90s shenanigans, yeah. 80s, 90s, it's where it's at. It's so good. But yeah, Until Dawn, definitely S tier. Mike uh, and I I'll, are going to push fuck, my quarry okay? up to S tier. God, fuck. That sequence. Oh, but it was horrifying. Oh. Markiplier's reaction to her being taken through the window still lives in my brain. Because I, I that's real. That's everyone. But his face when that happens. Because that was my first experience with Until Dawn was watching him do it. Oh, so I, I only just got rid of this command. Only just got rid of this. Like I'm talking two weeks ago. But since I started streaming in 2020, because I started with Until Dawn, I loved Until Dawn. It was a weekly thing for me. And I always had a command that was Markiplier's no video <laughs> when he accidentally got Ashley killed. <laughs> Fucking me. 
No, that's every time I go to like force quit the game, like Cass is just like, like you just blow Mark Flyer. You're just like absolutely restarting all these chapters. I'm like, no, yeah, I'm not. I'm like, restarting I'm gonna this. I'm going to redo this. Yeah. Like, he, he redid it and he's like, we're back, guys. This is where we're at. Ashley's not dead. You're like, oh, man. That's me. No, uh, literally, if I kill, if I kill Jess at the beginning, especially if she dies to that Windigo chase, if I mess up at all, no. You know how hard that is to, to fuck up, though? Yeah. And I've done it. I've done it. How? Because I've we get so antsy about it where it just oh, like. Okay. I'm also if like. If you I'm... take both slow routes, you can still save her. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's it's not even like I'm the I'm probably the best of us at the quick times and stuff like that. But it's when we're all like there together, like leaning forward, like trying to like do this. It's the it's the anxiety of it where it's just like because that, one, that one's hard. Biggest question I have. Hard to fuck up, brother. Did you get the high five on your first playthrough? I did. I did get the high five. I did. It was. So I, I was sad. last. It, it which I was surprised it counted. Like literal last second. Literal like what the fuck? Wait, yeah. what am I? Like I was just slapping yeah. this. <laughs> Slap the controller. <laughs> Literally, absolutely. I missed it on my first. I miss it so much I, now. Where I'm, I'll be like, oh, it's coming up, and then I forget about it, or I like tune out for a it's second. Just I'm the like, saddest thing because he stands there and he just. He's he just so stands. sad. <laughs> It's the what I, feel I just bad feel like a telltale like Michael that. remember that like it just it feels so like it's just so sad. Yeah, old Josh, I... <laughs> so defeated in that moment. I know. <laughs> and that's like, the thing I Oof. love Josh and uh, Sam's relationship um, so much, uh, and I feel like the game doesn't go deep into that as it could. But what kills me and the thing. This is my lore brain coming out. The thing with Until Dawn that happens on like the quarry for me, which is why I can see the argument of edging out if we're talking like purely storyline, purely whatever. The characters are so effective in Until Dawn that it actually devastates me to think about the survivor's guilt of Mike and Sam at the end of that game. Oh my God. Yeah. Me, Telepath yeah. have so many conversations about it where we're just like, imagine going through that with Josh, with everything. All the stuff that happens up to that point and yeah. whether you are all alive or not having that moment. But the the one that gets me the most is thinking of Mike, uh, Mike and Sam being the last survivors and what that life looks like absolutely oh, wrecks me. And this game is you how old now? Like 2015, right? Yeah. 10 think, year anniversary yeah. next year. Jesus. I'm excited. We gotta do yeah, something. ten year anniversary. So look, let's let's hope that they're planning the movie for release next year. I don't think they would be, but I mean, if they announced it, I feel like they're going to announce it closer to, you know, when they're ready to. But yeah, I mean, I'm unless they like just the settle out. Um, oh, yeah, Until Dawn's good. I miss Until Dawn. It's a good game. Yeah, but the in the interview at the end with it's so good. Yeah, all the characters. If you like, if it's just Sam and Mike. Sam is the most real person I've ever yeah. seen Hayden in that interview. That it. feels real. And that's I've why seen some interviews of people who are survivors from stuff like that in like docu series and whatnot. Yeah, who've survived not that kind of deal, obviously. Yeah, but like the cavers who got stuck, and they're just like, "Don't go back down there." Like whatever you yeah. do, even if it, even if you're thinking about, it, don't do this. Like it's just the the way Sam gives that. That little speech at the end, it it's pretty strong. It's a it's a good little sequence. It's also earned because she's just having to run around in a towel half the game and like do <laughs> like yeah. she's just she's like magic I drive towel, man. Shit. Yeah, magical magic towel. towel. I it's the most impressive thing of the game. I think that there's so much so much depth to Until Dawn because it truly had to have been like a labor of love of the genre. Yeah, a hundred percent. And it also utilized like like the don't move mechanic is the most stressful of any use of the PS4 I've ever seen in my life. That's the most stressful thing I've ever done in a game, period. Like the new breathing I mechanics in the stressed. newer games, I still fail it. And I'm like, we we will try and we will hold it down on the table and it will still fail. Like it, you have to move it sometimes because it will move it on I you. I swear it goes up. Like it just it moves it on you. It and you're like, no, 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 no. And then you, you overcompensate. I literally. Last time we played it, like Cats was like, "I can't, you gotta do it," because I I'm freaking out, and then I fuck it up because I'm like, it moved. I'm like, I'm looking at it. I was not touching it. Like, <laughs> like it is so I, stressful. 
in that final sequence, I hold my controller down on my desk, but I'm still holding it. Yeah. So if it does do that whole thing where it kicks down or up, I do. I can get enough of it. To I get move. so stressed. I've memorized that Wait. final sequence, and I still get stressed. I still like in the moment the amount of playthroughs that I've done. I'll still potentially make the wrong decision. Oh, no, Sam, I'm like, do I go for the light or do I not? No, I yeah, stay. Like, is it but now? do I stay? Is it later? Like, yeah, is it this time or is there, an, is there a third time I'm forgetting? Like, I, every time. I, same with when I'm running down in the basement from because Josh. You can't do anything. You can't just pause and be like, hang on, is this the right way? It That's just, the thing. Because then it, it ruined it. It's it a sequence. It. It's a sequence of her in the basement where it's like, did I grab the baseball bat in time? Did I do whatever? Did I do these things <laughs> to to get there? The final scene, obviously, but then the scene with Emily where she's running away. That is impossible. Like that long ass scene where oh, you're I trying hate to get. That. It is impossible. There's like eight different ways for her to die in that one. I scene. know they wanted her dead. <laughs> they they the... absolutely capital D dead. Wanted that girl dead. Like the just the sheer amount of ways that you can get her killed in that sequence. Yeah, I did find out you can get her killed in a very weird way in the end of the game. What? Um. Well, you know how how does she die in the house if she's in there at that point? Oh no, it's she goes up in flames place. normally, right? Yeah, I think she's yeah. So I think if you if she's in the room but no one else is, it's you, like Sam, Mike, and her. You could potentially get a Wendigo to pop her eyes out. Oh, yeah. I've seen that. In yeah, I can have house. to get my Yeah. I've only ever seen that once. I did that on stream. It was hard to do because it's the most. A very like, specific set finicky, of people you need yeah. there. Yeah. The very specific set of people you need there. Very specific setup to get to that stage. And then if you make one wrong decision or make a wrong move during the don't move sections, yeah. it's over. You can't do it anymore. But I think that's the only different death. Someone said it was a secret ending. It's not a secret ending, but I'm still just the place. movie has to have the understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> There's a few things that the movie needs that now. All right. Should we just move into until dawn movie segment? Yeah. I, I mean, like yeah, that's necessary. a good. Yeah. Let's, I feel like it's necessary. Yeah. What are the things they can't change or there'll be a riot? Oh, death. Oh, death. Yep. The dog. <laughs> Wolfie boy. Yeah. We need I our boy. About him. The scene, the scene with Josh and Ashley. The seancey one or no the the saw one where you're picking oh, yeah the yeah. saw one yeah that that is gonna be very real when they do I think that, they're gonna they change Sam being in the hot tub for like four chapters but like well she's or I've the, never the seen bathtub, a excuse movie me. yeah yeah I, look I've never seen a game or a movie that has your main pro tag your miss final out girl <laughs> just vibing I've never seen that it's the only way to keep her alive I get yeah um, we understand that so she can be the final girl later but. Um, it's just I, a prank can has to be in there. Yeah. I feel like there are two actors they have to cast. Otherwise, I think it'll be a bit different. Who are they? Rami and Hayden. I feel like if they cast them, they have to cast everyone else because the I age know. discrepancy. I agree I with know. the people who are like, you can just age them in their 30s and just like let them do their thing. But I think they're going to get a new cast. I, I think so, too. I can't be mad if they get a new cast. But they're so perfect. I know. I know. The casting of this, of Until Dawn, was phenomenal. Where is and my sister going? <laughs> I just, yeah. Do we think I we're going to see I, Dr. Hill or just, like, allude to him? Like, I think maybe in, like, a flashback with Josh if we're, like, revealing stuff. But, like, I wonder if they're going to have, like, a narrator well, kind of vibe or... Is that going to be a sequence that's even in this? Because that is, that's your chapter breaks in the game. I feel is like it his gonna presence, gonna we're going to see like his name on a bottle or like something like that. But I think when they're revealing Josh, yeah. I could see them having some of those like movie flashbacky kind of things where we see I think so. Dr. Hill like and him pointing to pictures or something like that. Yeah, I, I could see that being a thing, but I feel like it would be like 10 minutes of the movie time. I would love that to just be the most. the end credits as Dr. Hill talking to us and like going through everything. Like I would oh, I would love that. That would be phenomenal. Right. Do you think they're going to stick to the game? I do. I do. My I hope think, is that they do as well. I feel like they will just because it's been like why now? Why movie now? with yeah, I'm, a potential rumor remaster or whatever like yeah there's a I lot coming out about until dawn and it's been out for nine years and i feel like i was so excited to see it trending on twitter and everyone sharing stuff but like 
it's a yeah. very niche game when I talk about it. Like a lot of people haven't it's played small. it at all. Yeah, it's very small. Like there is not a I large think... fandom for this game. I think specifically, like even on Twitch, what are we? Especially at? because it's a console exclusive. Yeah, it's like it was PS4 exclusive, and it was designed as a flagship game for the console to showcase the. And then I see it left console. off of the ps4 like what do you think was the like game defining thing of each console and people don't even put it on a list yeah. when they're doing twitter thing i'm like people don't even know about it on average i mean there are seven streamers on twitch right now streaming the game seven how many viewers 34 there are twenty thousand people in the subreddit for it i'm i i want to know where this came from like why are they doing a movie now uh, is it set to be i think if out it, next otherwise year why not just why not just do like a dark pictures game or like movie and make it be like a new thing in that universe? Like that's clearly what yeah. we're looking at with the casting of Frank Stone and stuff like that. Like they're able to like blend universes. But if you're going to take Until Dawn and give it the movie treatment, it has to be because you want to adapt that. And the, the issue I always had, like, well, I don't think they're ever going to do this because it already is a horror movie. It's just a better well, thing yeah. because it's nine hours. Like. It's it's a six to nine hour interactive horror movie where you're in charge of who lives and who dies. Imagine if less. it gauged a theater based on like how like reactive they were. <laughs> did different... Well, someone, uh, members of my community were like, hey, what if they did it this way and had five different endings? Or what if they did that? And played them in different screen? theaters, like just randomly? Yeah, and played I them in different theaters. That. I would, eat, I I would go really see it cool. every fucking day for like a week I, and a half. Yeah. Like until I, I found go, like, every single one. Yeah. I would go to different theaters. I would try it in the same theater. Like, do, do, do they, like, just change random one? Like, but I would assume, yeah, like, okay, regionally, just... maybe they're just, like, scattered. Be, be genius. Be genius. Because, like, imagine being, like, cool. It's, you know, I go to this region. It's this this specific ending. So I'm going to go watch that. Now I'm going to travel. <laughs> yeah. Like, let me get in my car. Let me go to a different cinema. And I, I would go watch do it. It. it would be worth same. it. Same. Imagine so people taking it. road trips to go and watch the different endings of, the amount of content. a movie. The amount of content I would um, make. I was talking to my dad about this. I feel like they should just do a like a playthrough of the game for their writing and just yeah. make what happens. Yeah. Whoever lives lives. Whoever dies dies. I like, like that. Just like a roulette of just like yeah. <laughs> like, right, game, like it's, it's like the, the movie mode of the quarry, <laughs> but just like actually make it just be like cool. Pick it up. You get one shot. Yep. Go. Like whoever lives, great. If they die, too bad. Make it happen in the movie. <laughs> like that is your that is your script. Go for it. I want to see that happen. I feel so like it'd bad. be a really cool way to do it though. It would like, be. It would honestly be a cool way to do it. It gives a very good nod to the game. It keeps it true to the game because I know a lot of movie adaptations of video games are not great. But I guess this is also very different in the sense that it's a mocap game. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean they, they had a phenomenal a cast. It's it's they did. it's cinematic. And its direction and every camera, you know, force change and everything like that. The the pacing, the conference, like everything about it was designed to be a interactive horror movie yeah. game. And um, to build suspense, which is what horror is, right? Yeah. The score for the game is phenomenal. They do a really, really good job with that. They build suspense. They keep suspense. They keep you in that heightened sense of I'm in this creepy situation. I don't know what's about to happen. Well, I also just it's the I. I know I'm missing games from here because it's just not something I've, like, looked for. But from the ones I, like, know and have been exposed to, the Wendigos are so specific of, like, I want to say fear, but, like, just, like, just, a, just one of those things that in Supernatural stuff that really fascinate and get to me. Because I grew up in Same. East Tennessee originally where the Smoky, like, the Appalachian Mountains, that is... That's what that is. That is that you don't look in the trees yep. at night. You don't whatever you like. If you hear if you hear someone like far away, they're actually right behind. Like, it's just one of those things where it's just like yeah, all of you, those. You don't go out there. No, you like, and I, I don't like whether that's crazy or not. Like, it's one of those things where I realized somewhat recently that it was just like, yeah, I don't. If I'm in a forest and it's remotely not, I, I'm not looking. I this I want to go home. I'm not a thing like I do not look around. If it's this thing, like you, you do not look up in the trees. You do not look up in the trees. And Wendigos were done so well in this game, unlike what I'd seen in like certain like charmed or like all the stuff where they'd like be like, oh, it's a Wendigo story, like whatever, you know? And it would be like they're fun, they're good, they're like fun monster of the week stuff. But this was the first one that I felt like it captured that like growing up, not even realizing it was just like a superstition or belief or whatever, like 
ingrained in yeah. me from being in Appalachia that I didn't. I guess this hits harder for people like that. Yeah. Because there are there obviously there are there are always stories. Yeah. It's not like I li- I live in Australia. My nature wants to kill me at the best of times. But drop bears. We don't have anything. Yeah, <laughs> we don't have anything crazy other than drop bears. Yeah, obviously. When it comes to this, Horrifying. when it comes to this kind of stuff. Have you heard? Do you have crows out there? That's probably a dumb question. Do you have crows in Australia? Crows are creepy as fuck. But yeah. Have you heard do. them? Have you heard them talk? Yes. Horrifying. Don't like it. It's I hate it. No. Literally. I don't like it. And maybe, they're like, hey. Hey, is and that, I'm like, nope. Is that why crows are a big part of Until Dawn? Like oh, yeah. When you're doing your fears. Fucking horrifying. Like birds. And you're like, oh, they're not, like, it's just birds. No, like literally there's like the the woods kind of crows. And that's part of so much part of it where it's just like people are like, oh, just the crows talking. And people are like, mm, it's different. <laughs> like there are just, there are stories and there are a lot of people who go missing on hiking trails and stuff like that. And this could turn into a true crime thing very quickly, but... Until oh, Dawn yeah. just captures, <laughs> until Dawn captures a lot of those just little fears that I realize that I have because I don't like hiking. I, you know, I'm not, not, I wish I was a nature person. I'm, you know, I appreciate nature, but I'm not hiking. I was born on Earth Day and I still just like can't, whatever. But um, woods and forests and stuff like that, especially when it starts getting dark, really fuck me up. And I never. Yeah pinpoint why but i think that's why movies like movies and games like until dawn and movies like until dawn really get to me versus the normal type of like supernatural horror movie because the the horror movies that really get to me are the ones that are like real people at least by some extension that could be a plausible thing that happens and i think because uh, this is so ingrained in me and i do believe in ghosts and do believe in all that but like it's not the same as like you're watching you know the exorcist and like stuff like that which is still creepy in its own thing but like it's i can sit here and watch slasher movies like i went through and watch all the you know texas chainsaw and halloween and like little things and the music will yep. get to me and stuff like that because it's so effective but the actual like campiness of it clearly like it's just you know let me just eat up that horror kind of genre until dawn balances that camp to enjoy it yeah until dawn blends the camp and the actual like fear and that's where the quarry came in and was like Oh shit! I'm scared of these werewolves when I've never given a fuck about werewolves, and I think it's yeah, because they're the very similar to Wendigo. Yeah, yeah. I guess. I mean, I just I really enjoy it. The, the creepiest thing that happens, I guess, in Australian back like back country and stuff is. Ever heard a koala's mating call? Oh god, no. The vocal cords aren't meant to be able to produce the notes that they can produce. I hate that. So I hate that they're mating lower call. than they're meant to be, and it is terrifying. I've heard it that. once. And I was freaked out. No, no, thank you. No, it, it sounded like a, like a wild boar. I hate that. I absolutely but just hate that. Lower and creepier and up a tree. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> knows I'm going to go. Like, like I just yeah. No. When to go? Don't go outside. Just don't do it. Yeah. No. Um. I I hope they stay very true to the game with this. I reckon they will. I think they will. Um, I think it it will be. Again, it's just such a such a random thing to be making if you weren't doing it because you. I want to know why. Like my big question: to who you is who why pitched you're doing it? Who's now? doing it now? Yeah. Like why now? Yeah. Why now? Like, just there are so many other things you could have done, right? Or you could do like inspired by if you want to do your own thing. Like why did you get the rights to this? And like why are we adapting this? And I, I would love well, the cast like, to come back. I would love the cast. And I guess to come the back. other question is like how long have they been looking at this? Yeah, has this been in development hell, passing around for a like, bit? Is like, now the time they're just being given the okay? Yeah, like the FNAF movie. For nine years. The FNAF movie is in works for so long. The Borderlands movie is so long. Like, yeah. things get passed around all the time. So I want to know. Uh, I'm but, excited, though. I'm very keen. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so keen. I'm going to say the word. I'm so keen. It sounds oh, bad God. when I do it. <laughs> no, it sounds different. <laughs> it sounds bad. No, what All else? Right, so what talk- else about the movie? We've talked about the Until Dawn movie. We've talked about our tier list. Is it time for Smash or Pass? I think it's time for Smash or Pass. <laughs> it's time for Smash. Or- All right, hang on. Let me. Go. I need to get a list. I know. Of, I need uh, to get a list of characters. I, think uh, I need to get all the characters. Super um, massive characters for for y'all who don't have this in front of us. It is a massive list of just on tier maker of every character in the super massive universe. Um. We're probably not going to remember all these people's names 
because they Iconic. are including minor characters. So we will do our best follow along, but I'll put it in the description on the podcast if you want, or I'll put it in my server, or Matt, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll um, throw it somewhere. Just we'll Google throw it somewhere. super massive character tier list and click on one of them and look at them, and we'll, we'll, this is like playing who's who with each other. Come on, we, we got it. I'm sure <laughs> or guess who, so whatever it is. Pictures here. I'm trying to find out who's who. Okay, I could see better. I need to like zoom in on a lot of them. Yeah, I've done that. I've just zoomed into like two hundred percent. Same. I just went to one seventy five. It's like, yeah, let's go. Let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah, same. That's, that's okay. what I went to. I feel like I feel like most of these I'll know. There's a couple I'm like, who the fuck are you? But um, I can't remember the characters by name from House of Ashes or Devil in Me because I haven't done it enough. I love that the first one on this list is Sam. Sam Smash. Smash. Like, just, uh, next question. <laughs> no, literally. I'm going to, like, move her up so we know we've done one of them. Oh, the annoying guy from oh, Little Hope. What was I can't him? remember his name. Little Hope All I know, he's, he's, like, the preppy teacher dude. He's an absolute dick, He's an idiot. He's an... John. John. Yeah. Pass. He's such a twit. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. Just he's annoying. That's Nick. Can't, That's Nick. That's I Nick. Know. I feel like we need to get the names of these characters first. Yeah, I Googled... Before, before I'm, I'm Googling everyone, like... This. I'm just gonna. I've got a notes thing. We're just gonna go through Sam, John, <laughs> Nick. <laughs> Sorry, we missed a whole section on the stranger earlier. We did. We How absolutely did. We miss did. Him? He's I don't so even know. good. He really is. He really is. We'll come back to that later when we actually talk about Until Dawn. Trap. Well, yeah. We need. We should probably say which, which character and which game they're from. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Sam until Dawn. Smash. We've covered. Yep. Absolutely. John from uh, uh, Little Hope. Little Hope. Sorry, words are hard. Pass. Pass. He's just a dick. I, Art I pass. can't see him being any kind of good. Nick. Uh, Nick from House of Ashes. Smash. I think I'd pass, but I, I just don't think we're just going to mash. Just, just gonna I don't thing. think I would mash either, but like. <laughs> I'd let him try. That'd be the fun. <laughs> yeah. Let like, him try. Oh, God. Just, I'd rather regret it and, like, that have tried fair. it. Like, yeah, that wasn't that good. Like, I guess. Yeah. No, I just. Like, there's. I can't I just, see it. I can't oh, see it well. anything. Abby. Abby. The quarry. Pass. Pat. I would smash. I'm I know sorry. you would. I know you would. <laughs> You're wearing your Nick shirt, though. So, I mean, like. Shut up. Yeah, look. Uh, not me. It's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah. Smash. Obviously. Smash. <sighs> Oh my goodness. Travis. Travis, uh, smash. Travis from the quarry. Smash. Look, I'm sure it'd be a wild night. I feel like I'd smash. I don't even know it'd if he'd be, be good, but I, it, smash. It'd be wild. It, it would be a night. It would be a night. I just want to annoy him. Happened. I feel like it would be one of those things where afterwards I'm just like laying there, just like, like, so like, what do you eat for breakfast? <laughs> for fuck's sake, in the world. Where did you get your shampoo from? I like the smell of it. Are these sheets? like high threat count oh my god you would piss him off <laughs> I to would. No he was, but he would be charmed by me i feel like i feel like it would be one of those like unexpected like i don't know why i'm not kicking kicking the shit out whatever fine i guess can you just shut up so i can go to sleep but like he secretly likes yeah. it and i feel like he'd still go and make you breakfast or something even he though would. he's trying to kick you the fuck out the front he door. would he would be too polite he would be too polite <laughs> Get out. So, but yeah. also he's like pancakes Enjoy. as long as it's not around the full moon i didn't have shit to do yeah he'd be like mm, okay fine <laughs> <laughs> not on the full moon yeah Oh god! No to self. No smash near the full moon. Yeah. No yeah. smash near full moon. Make the mark that one on the calendar. Yeah. Big big old no smash on the full moon days. I do uh, not know who this next guy is. This is, I think, it's his. It's an old. These ones. I think this is a side character from Little Hope. Men and Madon. Oh oh, I'm just gonna assume oh, it could pass. Be that too. Hang on. Considering I don't know this man, could see him on the street. Would know a thing. Sorry to this man. Pass. Yeah, I'm not keen. Yeah. The Stranger. Smash. From Until Dawn. Obviously. Obviously Smash. Dude's he takes our lives. he got some experience. Exactly. He, he knows. he got some experience. He knows how to use that torch, man. Jesus. <laughs> Things I wasn't prepared to hear today. All right. <laughs> I wasn't prepared to say it. It's fine. It's fine. It's late. It's late. Yeah, look, fair enough. This <laughs> is, I think. That's the bitchy little dude who's trying to burn everyone in Little Hope. It's Carver in in a in a hallucination. Or it's in his, a, It's like the pilgrim, like the judge descendant dude. of Carver. Yeah, from House he's Bradford. a bitch. Pass. The, I don't. He's a bitch. No. But there was some wild shit going back down. Then who knows what would have happened? Yeah, witchcraft no. and whatnot. No, I'd probably stay away. He'd be though, very bad. Like, he'd be very he's bad. Gonna hex your bed. All right, or your insides. Either way, take your pick. It ain't this gonna be is... good. This is Merwin from Little Hope, the or House of Ashes, the dude I hate, the really annoying 
Oh, no. the one you desperately wanted to kill? The, the one I actively wanted to leave to bleed out on the floor. Yeah, him. Pass. Yeah, pause. Sorry. Pass. The I wanted to commit hard, to the joke. Hard, hard, hard no. This is, again, I think Man of Madon, and I think it's Conrad. No, it's not. I was like, who Conrad is, is Conrad is. I've a smash. seen this dude. I don't, I don't know, know when they were. Pass. Been I don't know who that. you are. You're weird. Yeah. Pass. Nick. <sighs> You're gonna pass, aren't you? <laughs> I want to smash just for you, just like a pity smash. <laughs> a pity smash. Listen, if you weren't such a fucking bitch when you're like trying to go on a walk with Abby, even before he's bit, when he's just like yeah. can be a pouty little bitch. I think he's too full of himself, so I would pass. But okay. I will pass. I do. I dislike. Know him. that I feel bad. But if about he gets it. a pity smash. Fine, he can I have a pity so. smash. I but here's the thing. I feel like he would be what I regret. He'd be like, you do it, and you'd be like, no, that was that was not boring. worth that was not worth shaving my like, legs. I, I regretted my life. <laughs> yeah. I regretted my decisions here. Is this Joey or yeah, this looks like Joey from uh, House, House of Ashes. Ashes. Yeah, I think that's Joey. I think he'd have some good experience. I think he's nice, yeah. I feel like he's the one who like doesn't he like divert the vampires for you or something like that? Like the Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I smash. Yeah. Yeah, he he was a good egg. He was a good egg. Oh, this yeah. this cunt, this little motherfucker. Uh, burn burn in the bed. Absolutely uh. no. Get it? This is Angela. If you couldn't guess from I Little Hope, dislike Angela. Absolutely Hope. sticks her nose in everything. And here's the thing: yes, with the curator cut, I was more sympathetic of her. But absolutely, I should not have nah. to work that hard to care for an old woman. Pass. Absolutely I doesn't. Got her killed the first time, and I wasn't really remorseful about it. I was like, oh dang. Anyway. Yeah, no. Hell no. Yes, good experience, but like, nah, Chief. Stay the fuck away from me. Chris, the quarry. Top of the smash Chris. list. <laughs> He's on the smash list for sure. Absolutely. Even Just, werewolves. You know, like, oh, okay. It's fine. Ball play. You like your back all scratched up, I guess? <laughs> I'm just willing to risk. Like, I would, I, I'm not saying as we're, I'm just saying I would risk around. Like, just, just a little quickie in there before, before. The as, the quickie, as, yeah. he's, as he's changing that <laughs> could be bad <laughs> but, like, no, but you would have a code to get out there at that point like we'd be we'd have a trust it'd be fine i guess smash. he's the most sensible he's on my smash list of course of course why not absolutely just, uh, be careful just avoid yeah this next dude is joe man i'm a fucked up life i'd pass i have too many men on this list as is questionable i'd probably avoid fliss, fliss. is it fliss smash. it is yeah, fliss, fliss. Smash. smash obviously Man smash. Of Madonna, be fun please. on the boat i get yeah, very absolutely. fun on the boat absolutely very Jess. take chargey though so she would. I mean, that's not bad no i she would be a dummy mommy she would be a dummy mommy she, she knows what she wants dummy mommy. yeah she does and she gonna get it if she wants it all right yeah if she wants to be a pillow princess fine jess until dawn i feel like she'd be really bad i feel like she would like overcompensate what's a noise yeah she, noise? she would be like she studied beforehand kind of thing she like did her homework and like would we'll be doing the alphabet kind of thing. <laughs> like, she's spelling out coconut, obviously. She, just, she thinks she's rocking people's worlds because they're all, like, 19-year-olds. Like, did he finish? Ah, oh, I did a good job. He finished. And the dude's just did like, she finish? I... She's not thinking about yeah. that. Pass. Probably still smash, but you know. Yeah, probably. I mean, like, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Give me a drink first. But, like, in, uh, my initial we just need some walk alcohol, into the room, okay? walk into the room, I'd be like, mm, no. But, I Depends mean, who what, knows? After a margarita. Up, um, Depends on how much she's wearing by the time we get to the cabin. That is true. That is true. How how hard does she work? <laughs> she matched though, so I mean, it was her idea. Exactly. Laura. That is. I patch Laura. I patch Laura. Any Laura. From the quarry. Smash. Definitely smash. Come smash. on, no question. Smash. No question. Smash. Mike until dawn. Smash. King of smash. Obviously. Obviously. Come on. Obviously, that he man goes through so much. He deserves it. <laughs> like with. With or without the extra fingers. Welcome to truth. <laughs> I had to ask the question. No, a hundred percent, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. We're not going to discriminate. He he can do the job. Plenty. He's worked his way through that front group. I'm just saying, like he has. He's done everyone on the on the list. Jess was his last trophy. Yeah, exactly. And, we well, love you, depending Mike. Depending on how you did, I think she got ripped through a window before they had any fun, though. Yeah, yeah. They made out a little, but like, meh. <laughs> meh. No. Started the engine, got yeeted out a window. Kind of cools things off a little bit, I guess. My dog is trying to supervise us right now. He's like, literally, should have, like, what is happening? Like, you don't need to, you, you don't need to be exposed do, to this. Do you want to supervise this, buddy? I, was I, like, wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I, this, I'm going to regret all of this being filmed. <laughs> Jacob. Never done a smash up us. Jacob. Jacob. 
Little bitch boy. The quarry. My man. Yes. Yes. Smash. Smash. Gotta smash. Gotta have some fun. He is so sweet. He is literally... He he got broken up with because he just wanted to, like, actually be in a relationship and, like, you know... Yeah. He actually cared about the other She didn't have anything bad. She was like, you were just, like, sweet. You were too sweet. He's like... She just wants a fuck boy, though. Yeah. That's all I get. She's like, oh, you one of my followers? Nah, I'm not yeah. okay. Literally, you don't watch my live streams? You don't lurk? Oh, too bad. You're not a lurker? Sorry, yeah, smash. 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 Definitely smash. Smash. We're smashing Jacob. Look, We're smash. You said it right the first time. That peanut butter butter pops little boy. You're going to crush his heart. He's going to get rejected by his psycho ex. Survive all of this shit. Be left alone crying in a forest. And going to stumble across each other's companions you're okay, gonna say he needs a pass. smash or a lot of smashes he okay? needs a, he, he, he needs therapy let's be real. this is what's his face from little hope the boyfriend dude that yes, the old woman is like I, weirdly the, territorial the daniel daniel yeah pass no no uh leave leave in the bushes when some weird shit breaks out in the middle of this town i feel like everyone in little hope is gonna be pass <laughs> um this is uh alex uh right alex? alex yeah i made him the um Julia's boyfriend. I think I'd pass. I feel like he only has eyes for one person. Yeah, I, I feel like I would be disrespectful to him. Means. Like it's yeah, nothing. He's he's exactly. gorgeous. I just feel like I would I would make him feel bad. It wouldn't be. Yeah, he. I I wouldn't do it for his feelings, right? Yeah, I'm for sparing feelings, him from right? the trauma of exactly having to cook me breakfast. Ryan, the quarry. <laughs> Where do you fit? Where do you sit on this one? It depends on the playthrough. I feel like he wouldn't smash me. I feel like he would reject me. Oh, okay. Yeah, he'd be like, yo, you want to smash? He'd be like, mm, Yeah, I feel nah. like literally I could be like working overtime to try to like, <laughs> like You'd whatever. Have to pull out all the stops. And, and even like, then, I just don't think. Because eh. even or like. His, his response would be like, Yeah, okay. Well, when, like, even with, like with him and Laura, where, like you have to like a certain way. Like, I just, I don't think we would cross that. I think it would just be mad at him. <laughs> And even if I wasn't, I think he would just be done with me. I I think I would Angry annoy him. Smash. He would not listen yeah, to this podcast. I <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm uh, not not for that one. No. Oh, Jedediah. Jedediah. Yeah. My friend Hell was in a no. movie this with man's him. Crazy. With oh, nice. with Lance. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just said this man's crazy. Uh, hell no. And yeah, with that too. He's also like blind <laughs> and just oh, like God. There's just yeah, he's the walking around with blind. the I I would smash him I would smash him if you were blind. It's just like the the crazy on top of that and everything else. Like there's just like well, he's yeah. too unpredictable and like what I was about to say was just like blind covered in wolf blood. Like this man. That's the thing. It's just it's the just avoid it. it's the every element that adds on top of it is yeah. like no. It's, this it's is a hard hard no. Yeah, Ashley, Ashley. until dawn pass. Definite. No, I'm a smash. I know you're a sure. smash. I know you're a smash. <laughs> Leave me alone. Listen, I get it. I get it. She's just too. I w- I think she would think I was mean to her. Yes, and I. I and she I mean, wouldn't be I mean enough you, to me. This would. <laughs> I want you people to get... know the percentage of which I say her jokes, but I don't really even know anymore. <laughs> 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 <laughs> it's a toss up. Yeah, uh, it's a, it's flip a toss a coin. Up. It might yeah. be a joke. It might not be a joke. <laughs> you roll those <laughs> dice, everyone. Shows. It's like it's like a super massive game. You get to choose. <laughs> She's cute. I feel like she's somebody where you would spend like a week in bed together, but not actually do anything. Yeah, and no. then maybe something would happen later. Yeah, she. You'd have put on your switch the whole time. <laughs> just kind of like we'd just flicker. be like, like, look, no. Let's be real. It would be a blanket fort made out of it your would. bed. Yeah. While you sit there and play video games and like card games and shit, and yeah. just pass out. Yeah. Which would be, I would hang out with her. I would. I would. I would hang out with her. Very I good friendship. Just think Still I would smash. make her cry. Is it's it cool? Jason. Is that Jason? Yeah, Jason it's Matt Jason. Yeah, yeah, that is Jason. Jason Kolchak. Very, I, I, it'll be a fun time. His, sure. his character arc is good. Like, I really, yeah. I would smash in game Jason. Like, racist beginning of the game Jason? <laughs> no. But that's, that's the war propaganda and the indoctrination talking, of the army. We're talking, and like, we're talking I'm talking a little bit traumatized. Sure. Yeah, like a little bit traumatized Jason. <laughs> no, can't say that. Can't say that. <laughs> Alex, Abraham. moving, <laughs> moving on. Okay, so Jason Smash, um, Conrad. Uh, Jason, I'd pause. Conrad, Man Boy, Smash. 
potty boy. He knows what he's doing. He knows. You know he knows his way fun. around. He is. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good night. Definite, he, definite he definitely says ladies first. And I appreciate that. And you know that that's going to continue everywhere, right? Exactly. That's, that's how it goes. Exactly. 100% exactly. true. 100%. Dr. Hill. Pass. I wanted He's to say Smash. I want to. I want to commit man. to Smash just for just for the bit of anything, and I, I can't. I don't. I He's, couldn't. He's just creepy. He'd, psycho- he'd psychology your ass. He literally. I would probably. I would <laughs> just end it. Just be like, nah. No just more Smash off, right? at all. No one. <laughs> just walking away. That's literally. it. I'm done. Celibacy. <laughs> Life of celibacy. Here I come. <laughs> if I. He's truly how to send me the therapy. <laughs> just. Just shut it down. Go home. Um, he started it. I know. Oh, <laughs> oh my damn. god! This is House of Ashes. I don't know who it is. Though. Uh this is uh, is it Claire? Was that her name? Yeah, Claire. 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 I liked Claire. I like her. I like her. I wanted her to be okay. Smash. I'm probably gonna pass on this one though. I'll smash. <laughs> Just a little bit of fun, you know. Yeah, she know. deserves it. Yeah, she works hard. Max. 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 Party. Smash. <laughs> smash. Smash. But yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. How do we think we feel about feel about Max? I don't know. It's fine. Joy, we have no idea about Max. Uh, yeah, he's a good dude. He's a good Tyler, dude. Definitely in it for the so other good. person. I'm telling you, he's if you definitely in it for the other person. He is. If you haven't watched Santa Clarita Diet, his actor's so goddamn good in it. I freaking love oh. him. I freaking love him. Need to go watch that. Haven't seen yeah. that yet. Emma the Quarry. Smash, but I feel like she'd secretly film it. I don't, I wouldn't just because she would like talk about me after, like she would just talk shit about me I after. I don't think, no, she would not talk about you at all. She wouldn't, unless it, someone brought up the fact, be, didn't you smash line? And she'd be like, let me tell you what line. And I'd be like, mm, yeah, no, that's no. how it would be. You would be brought up in future, future. She would be on a live stream and like mention, someone will be like, don't you know lines? Like, okay, let me tell you something about lines. And I'll be like, I can't oh, trust God. that she doesn't have a secret OnlyFans, right? Yeah, which like pro but like, only fans, but tell me about it. Don't put me on it secretly, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. she's like the a human it, equivalent of like the honesty boxes on Facebook back in the day. Like, I feel like we're just like that kind of trauma. I feel yeah. like that's that's her. Bobby, Bobby. Bari, smash, thick, thick boy. Hold me in those arms. <laughs> he me close to tiny he, dancer. He, <laughs> like, would, he would tell you. He would do what you told him to do. He he does what you do very well. Like he's very much like yes. Pick me up He's, now. Good. Yeah. Pick me up now. You do this. You'd be, yeah. be great. He knows Set me down. On. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Slower. Good boy. He He's very correctable. You're going to throw him a treat? Come yeah, on. Yeah. Well, yeah. I will. I will throw him a treat. No way. This Eyebrow is boy. Fucking. Eyebrow boy. Home. He's had a glow up. He's had a glow up. And we're talking to Anthony from Little Hope, um, yeah. or Andrew, whatever the fucking name is, Andrew. I didn't give an answer to Bobby. Yes, Smash. What are you talking about? Move on. An- Anthony from Little Hope. Fine, Smash. He's a one just because I need a Little Hope character on here, and like it's not his Little fault. And it's not no, his thanks. fault. I'm out. Okay, now, wait. We found the daddy. We found daddy. Yeah this this is the curator from oh, all <laughs> dark picture games. So uh, Smash or pass on the curator there, Lion. Um, uh. You know, I think Smash, just like in a casual, just, like super chill kind of way, Smash? like just like maybe in, just in if I had to like, chair? if I if I had to like think about it. Not that I've thought about it, but like if you made me think about it, then like maybe maybe Smash, maybe Smash. Mm, okay, <laughs> I, I can think, he have I think the hat? The can he have the hat? Like his his whole little outfit. He doesn't have Role to play as much as you like. <laughs> <laughs> I just I love him so much. He's so good. Oh God. Metaphor, definitely smash. smash yeah, definitely yes. smash. Uh, I think that's Salim. Is that his name? Yeah, that's Salim. I think it's yeah. It's a weird photo of him, so it's hard to like. Yeah, it's very strange. It's, it's a very weird screenshot of him. He Same just wants to get anyway. home to his son. <laughs> if this is what it takes, but I'm going. This is what do we're it. doing. I will I'll do it. it. Man. I think would you wait? I have no would you smash either. Salim? I would pass on Salim. <sighs> rude, rude. Don't worry, Salim. I'm I got you. sorry. You smashed the man to get his kid back. I guess that's fair. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Caitlin, the quarry, smash. No debate. Hundred percent. No debate. Smash. Brenda Song, we love no you. Debate. In Dude, time, we love you. It's amazing. Emily Macaulay Culkin of all people. All right. Like I had no idea. I had no idea. That I knew they had a baby. That's how I knew they were married. <laughs> like I was like, what? Yeah, that's how I worked everything out. I was like, excuse yeah. me. 
They're like, why? That came out shortly after this happened. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, oh, Brenda Song's in this. Yeah, Nicole Cole can smash. get it. But yeah, Brenda Song or <laughs> Caitlin. Caitlin Smash. <laughs> Caitlin from the Quarry Caitlin. Smash. 100% smash. smash. Emily until dawn Smash. <laughs> yep, yeah, Smash. Smash. Even, it could be a hate fuck. It could be a hate fuck. <laughs> Gotta have some fun, right? Yeah. It would, it would be a good one, though. It would be. Because she has something to prove. Like, she just, like... She does. She would make sure She wanted to make sure she, she, she is work. the best. So when yep. she walks away from you... Like, was like that That had to be the best smash of my life, yeah. right? She would make sure... Why else would Matt that. be there? Poor Matt. She's just, like, being tracked around like, with their bags and shit. I feel so bad for him. Right, he's, look, he's just the bodyguard at this point. <laughs> yes. He's the dude who has to act all macho, but just gets shit kicked everywhere. Oh, my God. Uh, Constance Hackett. She scares me. She's horrifying. She would she slit my throat no and not in a fun way. Pass. Look, I'd f- we'd fall as I'd fall asleep afterwards, and I woke up. I'd wake up tied to a chair with a gun pointed at me. Literally, I I don't trust any part of me. Like, there's no no none of the Jedediah family except none. Bobby. Except Bobby, but Bobby's like special. I don't feel like he's a Jedediah family. We love him, and remember. he that's the thing. He feels like I adopted. I mean, yeah, also, right? Chris and Travis are both on my smash list. So, I mean, like, let's just be real. None of the parents. Well, fuck the parents. Like, <laughs> They're too weird. They're, parents they're fuck you up anyway. It's fine. Country. We're, we're yeah. correcting the generational trauma by smashing the younger generation. Oh, now I remember who the next character is. Yeah, maybe I don't want to smash her. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not There's just... Saying. It's Taylor from Little Hope. I just don't... She's so wishy, no. but I just... I don't know. Her character, I just no. did not... I try to care. I try to care about her, and I just did not care. Oh, uh, uh, Asher Tisdale, uh, Rachel. Asher there we go. Tisdale. Rachel. I was <laughs> Rachel like, what the hell's her from, name? Um, I'd pass. Yeah, I feel like it wouldn't be very fun at all. I don't either. I don't either. Like, it'd just be stock standard. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's also, as she's much cheating as you're on get. him, and like, I just like, I don't like. Oh no, no she been no, no, no. No, no, I forgot about that whole side of things where she's just being a piece of shit. Yeah, you can decide if she puts on her fucking ring or not right at the beginning. Yeah, like, fuck no. Like, here. Yeah, stand out of that. Speaking stand of, out of that one. Eric, House of Ashes, smash. He's got some, he's got some experience. Look at that jawline. Look at that jawline. It's a good jawline. <laughs> it would be a good seat. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was there. It was there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> we really, this, this, this is a problem. Matt, Matt, I I pass on old man. You can enjoy your seat. I still haven't seen. I think it'd be. I'd smash Beth. I wouldn't. Maybe she'll take instruction real good. She probably wouldn't, but I don't know. She's dead, so pass. (laughs) She's dead, so pass. (laughs) That is a cannon's eye. God damn it! She's a Wendigo. Oh, (laughs) Josh. Until dawn. I think you know what I'm gonna say. Yeah, smash. 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 I hate myself a little bit, but smash. Nah, don't hate yourself with Let's that Let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Like, smash. Look, I think the only concern is you don't know where the cameras are hidden. Think of the production value. How much effort he put into, like, all this stuff. Like, he would, like, put on a show. Like, he would... It'd be good. He would make it fun. Maybe accidentally kill you in the end, but, like... Nah, nah, that happens. <laughs> oh my God. That happens. Could be worse. It could be worse. The worst ways to go. Smash. All right. Chris, until dawn. Sma- I, I want to yeah, say smash. I, well, both, both him and Ash are, the, are very similar people. Yeah. And it's like you can Whereas, you can have better better dialogue with him. But I just like, I feel I like feel there's like just, like, we wouldn't mesh. It'd be the Shermanator and the girl that he meets at Stifler's party. Yeah. Party. Yeah. <laughs> I think I have too much, too much personality. And I don't mean that in a complimentary way to me. I feel like there's just like, he, mm, I, the amount of jokes that he would crack. That's the thing. Either I would find It'd it endearing so in the bad. person or I'd be like, shut the fuck up. Because if I, he's acting like he does with it. Sam where he's like dancing, I'd be like, yeah, okay. But if he's acting like he does with Ashley, if that's how you oh, act when you like someone, no. fuck no. I'm out. Yeah, and that's where it would be because of the situation. Hell yeah. no. Pass. I I agree. I just, no. Skipping this Who's random this? man. I don't know. Some side character. Right. I think most of oh. these people have to be the start of like... uh house of ashes or something with like back at the office yeah so many just back like small storylines this is uh brad brad oh man madon yes brad man madon he's 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 a sweet boy he's cutie pie he's really he's really dorky and he he does have the nice little like kind of scared boy to hero arc 
got going on. You can you can yeah. I that's smash. I mean, that's smash. He's very he's very uh, yeah, pretty. Same. The hag, same. the hag of Hackett's quarry. Look, the witchcraft could be good or bad. Depending I would on be how you if she her. if she courted me. I think I'd be afraid to say no. We're gonna do this because I'm too scared to say anything else other than like it's yes. consensual. But like I feel like I'm making a gamble here with my life a little bit either <laughs> way. Fifty as to whether I'm gonna come out of this alive. Yeah. Or like in bits scattered across the land. So technically you know, smash? A technical smash. I think technically I guess, I think that would be a smash. smash is fair. Yeah, like technical smash is valid. I mean, also like she's supposed to be able to like you know she's not supposed to reveal her like this is my goal like you know what I mean like like maybe she's yeah. you know be... she'd do a tarot reading on you before you came over and that that would work that would work to lure me over at least whether but again it'd be one of those things where be like I think if someone said this is what's going to happen. Are you saying no to fate? I'd be like, I I don't know. The answer is, yeah, I don't. What What do you need me to do here, ma'am? <laughs> like, <laughs> Tell me I would not I be in charge of that situation. Um, no. Again, consensual, it's but technical. It'd be a fray. It'd be a fear based <laughs> for my life long term, like a curse. I feel like just out of safety to say no and pause, but also that's that, that's just. You know. I'm gonna give her a technical smash just because, like, good old technical smash. Yeah, this is what's his face, the House of Ash, or not the House of the Little Hope. Like, it's Man of Madon, dude, at the start. Yeah. Oh, is that Man of Madon? No. It's, I it's it was Man of Madon. It's your friend at the start. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I don't care. That whole like start sequence that we're doing. We yeah, don't know. These, these aren't. We're going for main characters here. Yeah, as yeah. much as we can, anyway. Julie's really pretty, but I don't remember any personality from her. Man of Madon. No, she no, she doesn't have personality. Then, what do you mean? I, maybe I replay it and I'll regret not putting her on the smash list. But for now, I'm going to put her on the pass list. I feel like it's a starfish kind of deal. Like, yeah, just she just lay there. Yeah, well, but yeah, it. yeah. It's just kind of over. Hannah. Uh, Hannah. Until dawn. I feel so bad for her. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't either. No, I'm delicate the little I flower. Just, I just like she's so. It's such a mean prank. It's such a dick move. Like, this is your friend. Like, I just, it's, it fucking. Let's just film her getting undressed. Like, what the fuck is wrong literally, with you people? Literally, literally hate them. <laughs> hate them so much. Big old dislike. Dylan, my boy. I know he's gay, but smash. I was about me to say, like, I'm just going to pause for. <laughs> no, saying Dylan, my boy. My smash boy, my sure. boy. Dylan, smash, smash, smash. Fun dude. Smash again. Fun dude, for sure. Absolutely. Smash adorable i love love him the well i'm not gonna fuck a bear yeah i've heard of bears like it's so <laughs> fucking good you, he you're is right, you're right the best you're right his whole like monologue when he's calling for help smash, oh my god on the floor right I... there like right there <laughs> take me now take like me literally now. it's Stop too cute outside. it's too cute like it drove me insane the first time I heard it. I was it's like, so what funny. The it's fuck so is well wrong done. with you? How, do you, how are so you this bad at calling well for help? It's so well done. Uh, I love him. I love him so much. He'd treat you right. He would. He would try really hard. And this is the old man from uh, Little Hope? Little Hope, I think. Yeah, the, the yeah, past. Is he a main character? No, he. I think he's the one in the he's another the side Pilgrim character. Bitch. Yeah, like I think he's like I don't want to say Pip. We're skipping him, right? Yeah, no, I can't remember his name. I'm like going through this list. I'm like none of these are actual character names, so it's not helping. Um, Good old Matt. Matt from Until Dawn. I give him a chance. He's yeah. he's just there. I feel like yeah, he either he's either a cock or. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how you play him. Um, if he manages to survive. Like, if he likes Emily and, like, I want to date her kind of way. I gotta know why he's with Emily. I gotta know more like, about this man in general. They good? give him nothing. Like, Do they, is, is she just that good? I feel like she has to be. She is like the town bike, but. <laughs> we we want to get to the point of, like, whatever. Like, realistically, that's why M has to be, like, a hate, yeah. hate smash. Him, it's, I it's just. a hate smash. I don't know what he's, he's, like, I just, I don't know. I wouldn't know what to give him. I he's feel like he would jock, be very disappointed in me. He would be he's very disappointed job. in me. Yeah, but that doesn't like I don't. He's not he's funny. Not he's not. He's just. He's just like he is. He grabs the bags. Why would you grab the bags? Leave the bags. Leave her alone. <laughs> like, <laughs> leave her alone. He does what um, he's told. He does. He does what he's told. 
Um, I would like him to tell me what to do instead, and he won't. <laughs> so pass. Um, we're skipping the next. <laughs> yeah, that no bueno. No, no, no. Um, uh, yeah, I'm also gonna pass on Matt. I don't. I just no. Boring. Yeah, I think it'd be bad. I don't know who this next it's soldier so- man is. I also think he's one of those side characters again. Yeah, House of Ashes. There's so many fucking side characters in House of Ashes. Marky Mark, that's his name. Mark? Um, Yeah. Yes. Smash. Smash. (laughs) I couldn't remember his name, but Smash. You don't need to remember his name for a Smash. He'll he'll tell me his name. It's fine. He'll tell me his name. I'll remember it then. I'll remember it then. I'd probably Smash as well. He seems like a... He's he's a good dude. He's a good dude. Yeah. Um, Jamie. Uh, Devil and Me. Smash. Smash. She she absolutely knows what she's doing. She absolutely knows what she's doing. <laughs> it's she, screwed on are, very, 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 she very well. She puts the moves on Aaron, like, so well. Gets her all flustered. She knows what she's doing. You, she stands at the it, gate. Even if you started out being like, no, nah, I probably wouldn't. And then she just yeah. talks to you and you're like, yeah, right, oh, fair yeah. enough, fair she'd be, enough. Yeah, Let's she'd be a charmer. <laughs> if she gave a fuck, yeah, there's just something about her. Yeah, okay, that that that's valid. I'd probably smash as well, for sure. It'd be, be, be a bit fun. This is a potential controversial one, but Kate devil at me i feel like i would smash but only because i would only because i like really like there's something like i just like about her but i get i don't think i actually want to smash but i want to put her on the smash list you know what i mean like i think she probably realistically pass but i just love her so much but you gotta know right like you just like you look at it you're like "Mm." Yeah, like I just I think I relate to her a little too much, so I don't want to psychologically like look into that. But I do think that there's just like part of me that's like, no, you need to give her a chance. I'd probably pass. That's fair. That's fair. Who is this? That is the um Charlie, the dude who wants his cigarettes and Devil and Me, who like can oh, die okay. for cigarettes. Is he like a side character? No, he's the main dude. He's the one who oh, like oh, organizes. Shit, right. He's the boss of the Lana Entertainment. I might have been looking at the wrong. Character. Um. Smash, but for all the wrong reasons, I will not elaborate. Cool. We'll leave that one there. <laughs> but smash. Smash for all the wrong reasons. No elaboration, everybody. You heard it here. Be concerned. <laughs> Be very concerned. I'm very sorry. Um, but smash. <laughs> smash. I know I what I'm I'll about. I'll leave him to you. Yeah, I'll leave him to you. You have, yeah. you have some fun yeah, with that I, one. Yeah, I, I got him. I got him. It's fine. I think I think you know we we've slept our way through a good majority of the roster. <laughs> we can I take think a breather. So. Oh God! I'm so proud this of what we fu- accomplished here. I think this is what Supermassive needed from their fan base, and I'm really glad they we were able to provide the pass character list this for sure. wonderful, in depth, not at all problematic. I feel like we haven't actually had a segment on it specifically, like where we specifically just talked about Until Dawn. But we have talked a lot about Until Dawn. What do we want to talk about with Until Dawn? I want to talk more about Until Dawn. My voice just decided to shoot the bed out of nowhere. Oh my god, Don't you are so deep. That you want to talk yeah, more you about that? Until Dawn? Yeah, it's just you got like that four up to four. Was it like out of nowhere? I don't know. I can't fix it. <laughs> are you keen? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I think to put a pretty little bow on it. So normally when we do the like five games, right? That time capsule favorite, you know, not favorites, yep. but best games. How about we look at five things in any of the super oh, five things in any of the super massive games that just make it like one of the best things like it can be like a little moment or an icon or a mechanic or Ooh. a death or something that just makes it like quintessential like it's one of the reasons you just fucking love the games in general not even yeah, that specific okay. game okay i like that i like that i think o death needs to go on there o death for me yes i it's either the start sequence or your credit sequence yeah yeah, it, I there, almost put the credits option. and I was like, yeah. Yeah, because I was going to say end credits, to and then I was just like, either way, one of the credits. The credits are just yeah. so important to these games. Even if it's after, like, the prologue, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, It just needs to be in there. That is that is quintessential. Yeah, There needs to be either a QTE mechanic or, like, the don't move mechanic or something similar to that. That yeah. has to exist in these games to give you the stress that the games want you to have. Yeah. Because without yeah. it, I think it just changes how those games are. They would not be anywhere near as stressful or horror-based or as good without those mechanics. I think the choice map for me is a big one because when you're like in the game, you can see where you are on like your bearings or like on the butterfly effect and stuff because it paints True. just how big the game is. So like in the quarry with all the tarot cards and like finding those potential, you know, red herrings or like whatever. But when you can go 
really look at because of this this happened it does yeah make you paranoid about little things or not realizing you start to overthink your decisions you overthink it but then it's also like you realize how many like shooting the birds what that really does like hitting the squirrel <laughs> like doesn't matter doesn't not and but seeing those empty pages and you're realizing holy shit i can still fuck this up yeah you like you know you've still got five or six more decisions yeah. to do it ain't gonna go well no if you've barely kept them alive at that point and you're going through and you're like trying to look at their relationship status or you're going through like i love the until dawn pause menu where you can see everyone's like you know you can see what's going up and what's going down like in their relationships with every character and you can see where someone's like really really into someone else it makes it really do feel like the choices matter because they do but like like, you know there's one major choice that ultimately ends up in chris's death if you do it correctly yeah like it's it's necessary to have some sort of decision tree whether that is the butterfly effect or the bearing yeah what is it in the quarry is it the butterfly effect in the quarry no, it's um the uh it's the tarot card. It's that's at VHS tapes. Oh, that's it's VHS right. tapes. The tarot cards are the like totems, right, but the VHS right, 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 tapes right. are where we're going through and looking at. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, that's right. Couldn't remember for the quarry. Yeah, still a very big part of the quarry, but yeah, because yeah. each one has their own storyline. So it's like the Max and Laura tape and like things like that, and they have their own. Yeah, yeah, that's stuff. right. Yeah. That's right. To be honest, I never really looked at it because there's just so many. There's so many. I never but had that's the, the time thing, to seeing go that? through it. It's so easy to like play a choice based game and like even things like cyberpunk that are just like inherently like built into the narrative, but you're like going the same thing, but like your relationships do change, but it doesn't notify you about it. Or Telltale, yeah. where you have the big decision, or Life is Strange, where there it does still end in like a binary choice, but like there are all the little things you can do in between. Yep. It shows you just how massive it is and how different it is and how special it is. But with it being horror, it just helps establish the stakes for me. I, I really think that's yeah, a huge the, mechanic. The stakes are a bit higher. The yeah. stakes are a bit higher for a game like that where your decision ultimately leads to whether a character you love a lot dies or not. Yeah. And so there's a, there's a, there's a lot of high stakes when it comes to that. Uh, you need to have some form of curator tarot card reader or psychologist narrator that yeah that kind of fourth wall break yeah got to exist it does help it doesn't necessarily break it up as a game like if i just played six hours of until dawn straight without the chapter breaks without the dr hill scenes i would still be okay with it but it does help break it up when you are sitting down for six hours most people break it up into chapters and stuff like you do a 10-part series for youtube or whatever the case may be Sitting down for six hours straight to watch a movie, essentially, is a lot. Well, it's we don't also tend to do that too often. Just really telling to a lot of the little lore with it, like with Dr. Hill and seeing the office get crazier with like what you're choosing. And then as yep. Josh is descending and we're like getting that explanation and any type of insight into that, you really yep. feel that there. And we don't get time with Josh otherwise. The curator no, yeah, still a mystery like, to me, which is why I'm like drooling about it because i'm like well, what is this what's this we connection need more. I, I need to know more but um yeah that type of mechanic is important to make it be like hey you are the one still in control of this and yeah. you're the one fucking up right now like the way the hag will just be like okay you little bitch you really didn't want to go look at that you didn't care enough to save them mm, okay fine yeah See if I'll help. Oh, you didn't find any cards for me sorry i'm not gonna give you anything get the Please fuck out of here like way. yeah like leave leave my leave it my leaves building, you questioning so. no matter what you do yeah like there's no I perfect way to play it there's majorly? no correct way to play it like it's yeah there's so many things with it i think that's a major 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 component mm-hmm. And that's three, four. I don't even remember anymore. Do we have another one? That's four total. You started. I've done two. You've done two. We need one more. One more. I feel like. Oh, maybe, maybe not. What were you going to say? There's always some sort of cheesiness with it. No, I was literally because I was like, well, the totem or the cards. I was like, no, I want like the things like the high five you can miss and you scared the blue out of my jeans yeah. and like that kind of campiness. Like some, I want the throwaway silly moments of these yep. games that exist. You need to have something to alleviate the pressure that you're under in these games. And those like, little cheesy lines, tidbits, 
the optional Campiness. little thing you can find yeah. to like scare someone or like the peanut butter butter pop the thing that gives it life those game those moments really bring everything together so yep. to have nice shooting text kind of thing those little like dumb moments Oops. that people are like why like it's wasting time like whatever like no they make these characters so real it adds to their character development and you're like you get it you actually get a feel for what that person is what that character I, is in the game they're not I would just have deadpan no opinion about mike at all if he didn't have those little moments when he's going around by himself doing everything and he has so many so it many gives he's him so, so much it gives him so much of his character it does anytime it does. he walks anywhere you get to like you get to hear a bit from mike and the way he responds too, like when the when the pigeons fly out yeah. and Jess laughs and he's like visibly pissed. Yeah. I lo- and that's the thing. It's just like no one is like always making the right choice and doing everything and like being a well-adjusted person. Like everyone can be yeah, in the yeah. wrong at whatever time, but like they all have those real reactions where it's like, should you actually be pissed at your girlfriend for laughing at you for like getting spooked by something silly? Yeah. No, but you're going to be and you're going to yeah, pout like about it. Yeah, happen in the moment and you're gonna be like hey don't do that that's rude now like because it's i mean for him it was attacking his masculinity because he was yeah. scared by a pigeon yeah and he wanted to defend wanted to defend that straight away and like valid yeah shit happens sometimes and you're not going to feel super great about it and you yeah. never know how you're going to respond in a specific moment mike has a lot of good ones like that sam has a few pretty key and pretty interesting ones that are quite good to yeah. give her like a much more rounded character or understand the palm of my hand bitch like yeah. it's just so there's iconic things that they've all said specifically in until dawn i think yeah. that really helped okay but beefed it like taking that from the quarry like beefed it I'm or sorry. like any of the any of the I'm interactions between chris and server. the kids like when they're like arguing for the phone charger or anything like that like all of it's so funny but yeah there are just so many little like poke at each other moments that don't have to be yep. there that make it feel like they're they actually know each other they're actually interacting yeah. with each other these are the, this is a genuine friendship yeah um when you see people behave like real people it works so much better you don't i mean lots of people poke fun at each other all the time it's standard yeah. in friendship groups it's standard you oh, always yeah. poke fun at each other yeah in good fun if somebody goes too far you'll probably talk to them about it yeah and you let like, them no, know. You, you joke around with your friends and like you know your boundaries with your friends, but like my friends come and make fun of me all the time. I'm like, yeah. Like I'll be I'll be streaming. They'll be like, man, you're so good at this game. I'm like, yeah, I'm the best. Thank you very much. Like, can you imagine <laughs> being bad at this game? Same. I can't. Like it's you, it's the, the harmless ribs like that, or then like, you know, do I want bangs or do I need therapy? Like <laughs> kind of things. Oh my god, we're where still in the bangs discussion. Yes, I'm still in the bangs discussion. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. But um what the the thing I guess I'll I'll kind of like end on for me is that the fact that I'm so certain like oh the quarry beat it out through all this conversation I was like well maybe not like maybe it's until dawn like the fact that you can still, still have a tug know. and pull in those games you still have questions it they're just so I don't know many games I can still have the debate on I like will make up my mind to be like there's this like if I look at the Bioshocks I can like tear it in my head I can have wonderful things to say about it get really passionate about some whatever. But it's very rarely I can talk myself out of one or the other of this is the best. And I'm like, I don't. I really well, they're now, they're worthy of each other. I'm now in the same boat of is the quarry better than until dawn? The quarry just has the go- benefit of being more because it has yeah. years and technology and like all that stuff, you know, like I I'm now very, very interested in playing through both. Yeah. Back to back, I think. Yeah. And probably playing the quarry first. Because it's yeah, go want. new gen and then go back and then, and then see if back. you're like lacking. And yeah. just, just to see. Because I'm like, I've played Until Dawn fairly recently. Not all of it, I'll admit. Had some tech issues, but kind of want to do it again. And now I have questions as to whether like, are they, is, is one of those two better than the other? I don't know anymore. We've had too much to talk about. I know, about. Now I, I've, we've talked ourselves <laughs> out of it, it's fine. I don't know anymore. We know the important questions, like who would be Smash or Pass? Yeah, we know that. It's pretty pretty obvious. I'm gonna obvious. smash half the cast. Yeah, I don't think we had to do that. I think we we knew where we stood on those. I don't think there were any surprises <laughs> coming from no. that list. I think no. that was like purely self indulgent, unnecessary moments. Yes. Anyway, that's a. We did it. We said we were gonna do it, and we did it. We did it. I'm proud of it us. Happened. I'm proud of us too. 
<laughs> Hope you is... enjoyed this episode of DLC Required. It is an absolute um, shit show, but we're we're happy you're here. Um, Matt yeah. is just past 100k on TikTok. You can find him on there streaming Ooh. insane little rhythm games that I don't know how he gets perfect, like blindfolded. I, he's insane. Um, Called I have no life. Uh, <laughs> your life is streaming rhythm games on TikTok yes, and Twitch, look, and it's it's good. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. But yeah, and you can catch up with Lion over on Twitch. She's also on TikTok. Go check out her content there. But catch up with Speaking Lion over. We're on both Twitch. everywhere. We're content hoes. We're everywhere. Literally, pick a site. We're probably on it. The Look socials the are in the description. Name. Have fun. Yeah. Like we're everywhere. Go check us out. We're but cool. Yeah, go check out Lion on Twitch for all of your favorite Borderlands content <laughs> uh, and two K shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, for me to end. <laughs> what the hell Brass. is that? God damn. <laughs> Got it. Human. Got it. Any parting oh, words? Man. Any parting words? I don't have parting words. Go play Until Dawn if you haven't already. Go play The Quarry if you haven't already. And there's potential leaks of fun stuff coming out for it uh, for Until Dawn. So keep your eyes on this game. It's actually in the media right now. It is. For various different things. So Can you believe the game's being reported in the media? Wild. <laughs> Please know we love you and don't. <laughs> We did don't, this for don't you as well. It. Yeah, we th- this is for you, okay? <laughs> this like, for this you. Is- we sacrificed this for you. People are going to know too much about us on the internet. I think they already know too much about me on the internet. Yeah. 